Welcome everybody. Welcome back. Happy Saturday. Uh, this is this is gonna be quite the stream here. We have some very 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 exciting exciting information for you guys. This is the stream where we determine the winners of the Parallel Dimensions contest. And since a lot of you guys are from out of country and you can only win prizes if you're in the U.S., I've split it up into two two pools. So basically. There's the the eligible contest eligible um, you know top five winners and then for those of you out of country I'm gonna send you guys some of my really nice uh, photography art prints so even if you're out of country I got you top three winners um, with some custom art prints signed by me and everything so I want to make it worth everyone's while everyone's gonna win here today um, what's up everybody if you guys can hear me and can see me give me some thumbs ups because I'm in a new space, if you can't tell. We just moved into a new spot. Um, I'm still setting up my studio. It is kind of halfway in the works right now, so hopefully you guys can hear me okay and it sounds all right. Yep, um, I'm excited. I'm very excited for this new spot. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a good one. So before I jump in and oh, low volume. Big thumbs. I got big thumbs, but one dude's got low volume. Well, George, turn up your headphones or your speaker, maybe, because we got uh, we got thumbs ups all around. Awesome. Yeah, my mic is kind of it's a little further away this time, so we're gonna have to bear with me on this one. I think I'm getting good levels. Let me check this. I'm getting halfway decent levels. Maybe I can uh, crank this up a little bit louder for you guys. But I could also just talk louder too, maybe get a little bit closer. So um, just make sure the autofocus is going. And yeah, we got, I got my camera set up. It's all nice. Um, all right. So where where else? What else are we doing? Yeah, Skillshare. That's coming. I got you guys on that. Um, wonderful. So the next thing I'm gonna be talking about. Actually, the first thing I'm gonna be talking about is how I got from concept art to the final version of my render, which you guys can see right here. So let me see if I can pull up something. I'll show you guys the process. Cause this, I learned a whole lot doing this and I hope you guys did too. Um, so let's see real quick. I wanna pull up all the different versions that I rendered out while I was doing this. So as you guys know, on the first stream, we started with concept art. And in volume one of the master class, we made this in Photoshop. And this is the final. So they're very, very similar. Um, you know, the mountain's a little smaller, but I use this to guide uh, my render here. But I started with this. This was the first thing I started with. On the, on the stream number two, I believe, volume two is where we talked about the ground plane uh, in the very next stream, the third stream, we talked about the volcano and we kind of built that out, built out the background a little bit, added some like steam and fog here that I think worked out really well. And we used lightning to, um, to build out our lava. In the next stream, we built out the foreground. You know, we added these huts and these stumps and everything. But then this is what you guys didn't see. You know, throughout the week I kept working and added some stuff in the foreground here, changed the lighting a bit, changed the sky, and finally photo scanned myself and got to our final image here. So I wanna walk you guys through that process of how I did that. But um, let, me, let me actually show you guys my render too. I wanna show, show you my final render. So here inside of, let's see here. Here we go. Awesome. So I got uh, I got DaVinci pulled open and let me just show you guys my render. I have every single submission here. We're gonna go through every single one and we're gonna review them and I'm gonna give you guys notes and feedback and we're gonna whittle it down to the top three. Um, well, I guess since we're doing two pools, there's gonna be a top five um, US only and then there's gonna be a top three overall, you know, everybody every render is is included and then i'll be sending out you guys some uh 
some nice photography prints. But let me show you guys my render, how the final render turned out. I'm going to loop it a couple times. I'm really proud of how this thing turned out. I added a lot. I spent a lot of time on it. And like I said, I learned a lot too. So this is it right here. You know, I got some birds up in the sky. I photo scanned myself. Um, added a little like stuffed animal down here dangling from my backpack. Um, I'm, I'm really, really happy with how this thing turned out. And getting the, the smoke up here was a challenge. That was all in After Effects. So I'll give you guys a breakdown of how I did that. But first, you guys know what's coming. Our sponsor for today's live stream is Skillshare. Let me pull them up here. Boom. Skillshare. So if you guys don't know by this point, you know, you've been living under a rock. Skillshare, it's an online learning community for creatives and artists like you guys, just for you guys. It's a place where you guys can learn something new, where you can grow your value um, as, a, as an artist, as a creator, as a person. Um, you know, Skillshare is actually really cool because you can learn literally anything you can type into a search bar. So if you wanna learn, obviously, you know, any 3D work, um, painting, sculpting, you know, you got all that photography, filmography, you got that stuff. But you also have stuff like cooking and taxes and, and snowboarding and, uh, maybe some rock climbing and maybe some yoga and working out. It literally has anything. It's set for any schedule. Um, the classes are super bite-sized, small little classes. And uh, they're set for any skill level too. So you guys can jump in no matter where you're at. So I want to show you guys three classes. Three classes that I really, really think you guys would enjoy. So we're talking, you know, parallel dimensions. We are doing a render contest, an environment render contest. So the first place... You know, I guess the whole the whole reason I wanted to start this thing is because I love doing photography, specifically film photography, and I love traveling to new places and um, and capturing that place and capturing that environment. So this is a class by Antonio Castillo, and he walks you guys through the whole process of shooting film. If you guys are interested in shooting film, I know I love it a whole lot. Um, Antonio is going to walk you through the whole thing in this small. Skillshare course, you know, it's about an hour and a half um, You know good times over here. You know learn a lot now once you take your pictures, right? Once I have taken all my photos and I'm sitting home alone in quarantine. I Want to create some cool stuff. So like we did in volume one of the of the environment master class We have this painting environments uh, Skillshare course here uh, by Hardy Fowler and he walks you guys through this dude's legit uh, he walks you through his whole process when creating these 3D environments, or not, sorry, not 3D, they're done in Photoshop. You know, they're done in any sort of painting program that you guys would use. And they're there to guide um, your art to the next level. You know, you, the, the concept art could be your final spot. But, you know, in this case for Parallel Dimensions, I use the concept art to kind of guide my final render. So this is a really nice class for you guys to dive into here. Um, and lastly, you're going to have to take this concept art and, you know, transfer it to a 3D world. So the cool thing about Skillshare, obviously, is you can uh, look up anything. So you have Blender. You type in Blender and there's a whole bunch of like um, just starting in Blender tutorials all the way down to very specific stuff in Blender. We can look up uh, Cinema 4D and you can find the whole deal. If I spelled things right, yeah, <laughs> but it still got you. Cinema 4D, it's all up in here. Um, so you have intro classes that can help you guys get started or advanced classes. Patrick Foley, this dude's legit. He's got some good ones. Um, and yeah, I mean, anything from you know Unreal Engine. Basically, you can look up anything and learn anything on, on Skillshare. And as a Skillshare member, you guys get unlimited access to regularly updated premium content for less than $10 a month for an annual subscription, right? And the first thousand people who click the link down below in the description get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. So definitely check it out, guys. Click the link, it helps me out for sure. 
it helps me do more of these streams. Um, so yeah, that'd be awesome. We're, we're, we're all here to learn. We're all here to learn a thing or two. So definitely give it a shot. But it's time. I can close this down. It's time to go over what went into finishing out my render. And then we're going to get into the submissions and the reviews. And we're going to choose the winners here live on the stream. So let me go ahead and open up. Let's go ahead and open up After Effects because I'll work backwards here. I want to talk about the things I did to bring this piece of art together. Um, you know, there was there was a lot of small, subtle stuff that's going on to make this look um, like it does. You know, a lot of subtle color correction and and a lot of work was spent getting this smoke right up in the mountains. I could still work on it, but I ran out of time. I wanted to spend just the amount of time you guys had on it, so I kind of cut myself off. But I might tweak it a little uh, a little later in the week because we're gonna put together that whole render. Um, you know, awesome montage, and I actually got a good friend of mine, Casey Edwards. He is putting together some music for it. He sent me a little sample of what he was doing last night, and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be freaking cool. So let's go ahead and open up my project file for this piece of art here, and give you guys the breakdown of what went into this. I'll open up Cinema as well, and we can kind of work backwards and get into that. But I just want to spend the next 15, 20 minutes talking to you guys about the process. What's up, everybody? Everyone's in the in the house today. We got Tinum with CG Kiwi. What's up? What's going on? A lot of y'all hanging out. ZSPC. Loving, loving him some Skillshare. Awesome. I'm glad. It's nice to see you guys, you know, using the stuff that I uh, that I talk about, you know, the sponsored stuff. It it makes it feel like it's not some random product, you know? So that's cool. All right, so this is the final the final image here. Let me just toggle on some of this stuff to show you what's going on. So we're starting with just the image, just the render. This is the final render minus the smoke, which I did later, and the same for the birds. Um, what I'm doing here is I'm giving this uh, on the lake here, on this reflection, just a little bit of orange um, reflection from the mountain in the background. And I'm using basically uh, the render crunched down. Let me see if I can turn this on. Let's solo this. So I'm using the extract uh, filter, basically. Not filter. And it's not a plugin. Uh, the effect, the extract effect, which you can basically slide up and down to um, reveal dark or bright parts of your image, and it kind of keys it out so it stays on alpha. I love it. It's the best. So I'm using that as an alpha mat to show this orange, you know, bit of of light to reveal that mountain in the background just a little bit. We got some color correction, I think. Some very subtle color correction. That's just Lumetri color with a white balance on the clouds. Gives it more of a greenish tinge. And then I'm coming in and making the, the sky a bit darker here. Um, just a really soft selection, kind of a vignette going on. And then I do have a vignette around the image. Subtle, I don't wanna go too intense with it. And then finally, I don't know what this is. Oh, this is just a bit of sharpening. So right at the end, I just like to sharpen it just a little bit. So let's keep working backwards, all right? So what came out of Cinema 4D was this right here, all right? So if I just, you know, scrub this, oh, wow, that's really, really low res. So yeah, this is what came out of Cinema 4D. Most of the work I put into this art was in C4D. And We'll go ahead and open that up and dive in, and talk about how I did that as well, just a brief overview. Oh, the camera is over the layers, thank you. Appreciate y'all, thank you, thank you. So, this is what came out of C4D, and then I just start building, building things up, and building things up. 
we have some lingering smoke. I'm using Action VFX um, and a Z depth pass that I rendered from Cinema as a Luma mat to put that fog in front of me, basically, because this is a photo scan of me. Um, and you know, I'm dropping a couple other little fog layers in there just to just to spice it up a little bit and kind of blend the foreground and midground into the background because I didn't like this line. I kind of saw a line there, so I was like, you know what? Let's just kind of give it a little bit of something, a little bit of movement in there. Um, moving on, I'm still using the Z depth layers that I rendered from Cinema. It's gonna be a bit more fog. So I'm. I really hated the top of this mountain a whole lot. It just didn't look good, didn't look good at all. So I'm like, I gotta cover it up a little bit. So I just sampled the sky color and dropped that in as like a feathered little bit um, with some Z depth on it, just to cover it up a little bit more. And now what we have here are three layers of smoke from Action VFX. And I'll go one at a time and I'm just feathering out the bottom so they kind of just disappear into the mountain and then I drop one a little bit lower because I again I hated how the top of that mountain hit the sky like that I just didn't like it at all so I'm trying to cover that up but that still doesn't look good it needs something it needs light the light needs to shine from inside the smoke so I did a, a cool little trick here at least I think it's a cool little trick um, as I started bringing in basically some light from the inside and what I did and how I did that let me bring these up for you so like this it looks like it's glowing from inside all I did was duplicate the smoke layer I wanted to look like it was glowing and I dropped um, let me see if I can solo just this bit And I'm using the extract plugin. Not God, not plugin, I guess that's the extract effect. So this is just the smoke. And with the extract, I'm pulling out all the bright parts. So this slider pulls out all the bright parts and leaves me with just the dark parts, which are the most internal part of the smoke. Right? So with that, I'm saying use this, use this layer right here as an alpha mat for an orange kind of, uh, you know, it's, it's basically just an orange card. And it's just inside of the dark parts of the smoke. So that gets you overlaid on top and gets you the appearance or the feeling that the, the smoke is being lit from underneath. And it's a, it's a real cool like cheat on how to do that in 2D versus doing it in 3D, which I, I was not equipped for. <laughs> um, and Eric, what's up, dude? Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for the kombucha money. Um, I find a lot of value in these weekly streams, never stop. Dude, thank you so much, man. That's awesome. I'm really glad you enjoy them. And I hope they just keep getting better and better, man. I hope we all keep, can keep learning together. I'm gonna grab a kombucha soon. My throat was already hurting, but we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep talking about how this came together. Um, so let me get back here. I'm gonna solo these things so we can keep building it up one building block at a time. So we have that internal glow layer and a little bit more. I just did it with a white card instead. So it's white and those are both set to like add probably. Yep, so it's glowing even hotter from the inside and then I realized, based off my concept art, there's a big red glow cast by this lava. So I need to start adding some, you know, some 2D light effects and start faking this, this glow. Because this mountain, or this volcano, would be casting a glow on the fog and the, the clouds around it. So I gotta fake it. And I'm doing that with just, you know, a red solid, feathered out, the opacity dropped down. Um, but closer to the center of that volcano, I got an orange card here, which is just feathered out, you know, and it's tighter. The mask is tighter around the, the central point of the volcano. So the glow is getting hotter and brighter. And I'm using Z-depth mats um, as alphas here 
but they're not really doing much to be honest. So you don't have to worry about that. And then what I'm doing is I'm actually using the extract filter, uh, the extract effect again to just get me these, uh, the lava flow bits here. And I'm bringing those out in front of the smoke, in front of the fog. And I'm blurring them out at different amounts to get more and more of a glow. So that's without, and that's with. And that, that really, really, really starts to come together now. It brings it together. And I'm working in 32 bits. If I was not in 32 bits, um, let's see, if I was not in 32 bits, the glow wouldn't be as hot like that. If I went to 8 bit, uh, <laughs> it looks horrible. <laughs> it's actually gone, which is pretty insane. Um, only in 32 bit was I getting that look. So that helped out a lot. Moving on, we have some birds flying about. So if I scrub to the middle at some point here. Where are you guys? There they are. They're way over there. So what I did is I, I literally just used my iPhone and I filmed some birds going up in the sky. This is a cleaned mat. But basically, I filmed some birds up in the sky with my iPhone. I used the uh, basically a Luma mat. So I made it black and white with tint, crushed the levels to get it to look black and white like this. So the birds are black and the background's white and I just set it to multiply. And now I have some realistic looking birds flying up in the sky. I didn't want to simulate those because it would just take forever. So, you know, they're up in there doing their thing and I have a bunch of different layers of those guys flying around, doing the bird dance. And the birds really were like an added thing that, that brought it all together. Um, it made it feel a bit more realistic and it gave it a bit more um, scale and depth, right? And I noticed some of you guys put birds into your renders, which I thought was awesome. So that was basically all that was coming into this when it comes to After Effects. So let me open up C4D and I'll talk to you guys real quick about this photo scan I did um, and the building blocks that went into the environment and everything. We, we talked about it all on the past streams. If you guys want to catch that and want to watch me do it, definitely go back. I got the uh, 3D Environment Masterclass Volume 1, 2, 3, and 4, where we build out this whole thing right here. Um, so yeah, I'll talk to you guys about the photo scan I did. I scanned myself with, um, with my buddy Cliff, and I went into an A pose, which is T pose is your arms teed out, and A pose is, uh, you know, your hands down into a little A shape. Uh, all right. Let's open this up. So I'll just open up my photo scan. And this thing, when I first, you know, did the scan it had like a million polygon no no way more than a million polygons way more than a million polygons it was rough um and i had to basically lower the amount of polygons on this thing until it looks like this and i'm not the biggest like photo scan guy i don't know that much but i'm getting these weird errors like this which doesn't look right it's not right but i got lucky because from a distance this is totally fine and i just had to make it work you know um, but yeah, this is me and like my hiking gear, um, ready for an adventure, obviously inspired by Death Stranding uh, with the final render. But yeah, I got this. I used Reality Capture to, to scan it, brought it into C4D, cleaned it up, and let me see if I can open up. Uh, it attached to the rig. And this is where I actually learned a whole lot. So I have it attached to the rig and it's moving. I got my little penguin on there too. Originally, this uh, sleeping sack here was stretching with my hips and I did not like that. So what I had to do was I actually had to, 
go into my model, turn off the skin, and I messed with the character, the weight tool. I've never used the weight tool before, but if I right click, let's see if I, yeah, go here, I can start painting the weights. And the issue is that, you know, my leg, if I right click here and I say, okay, that's hips. This is just attached to the hips. It got to the point where like, the legs were moving the, where are you legs? Oh, they're in here somewhere. Anyway, you guys get the idea. You, know, you see these like, wherever there's a color, that's what moves the actual mesh. And when I selected my leg, it was moving this, this knapsack back here. So I had to just basically repaint the weights and then it actually worked and it wasn't influencing. My legs weren't influencing that, you know, it looked, it was definitely wrong and the render wouldn't have looked right with it because you're staring right at it. Now let me open up the final, the final image for you guys. Parallel Dimensions version 1R. We got down to R. That's the furthest I've been so far. This is it. Yeah, this is the scene. Um, I mean, again, you guys know. I scattered these trees. I bought some from CG Trader. Scattered them, scattered them around the midground there. Um, got some mega scans, stumps scattered about. I'm using uh, Octane Scatter to scatter a bunch of different plants and like little uh, bits of clover and leaves. So I'm scattering these guys around, which you can see, you know, down here, off onto the sides and whatnot. So that's all mega scans and octane scatter objects. Um, yep, I'm dropped in here. For the ground, I'm using RD textures, real displacement textures. And then for the actual, uh, the puddles, I'm using Dizzy Vipers. Uh, puddle pack basically to split up the mud and the the reflected water um, these huts I also got from I got from turbo squid they're super cheap like 10 to 15 bucks each dropped them in dropped the, a light in there uh, and just bounced it pushed it into the back um, yeah we got the fog cards going back here and lots of different fog so I'll show you guys that basically fog yeah, so all this fog, you can see these fog cards, which it's a cheat way, it's a quick way to do fog, which is basically just a gradient set on the, uh, the opacity channel for the material. And it's just set to like white or something and it's, the opacity is lowered so you get some, some nice fog in there. Um, you guys can see the difference if I pull up um, these guys so it's the difference between this and this so this is with the fog cards in real nice and fast way to do that and it goes all the way into the background and it really like goes off into the background and then you have of course your volumetric fog uh, your octane volumetric fog which are just you know I got some here in the foreground and then think there's some in the background nope there's none in the background it's all just right in the foreground um, but the fog is really what brings this whole thing together for me it blends everything it gives it depth it makes it look nice uh, yeah so I, these sticks are octane scatter with these giant trees to give you you know these trees in the back um, and yeah the mountain itself for the lava we used lightning in Photoshop we made an image I can pull this up for you guys lava map we use this image here which we created in Photoshop and it's just a bunch of different like lightning pieces that we dropped over the mountain to reveal an emissive uh, an emissive texture on the mountain in the background and then I just used an HDRI image from uh, HDRI Haven in the back here and I went through just a bunch of different versions and I made sure to pull like five or six different looks to really make sure I was getting the right look that I wanted um, and I ended up going with this look right here, which I thought totally worked. Um, I mean, that's about it. Christian, dude, thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Yes, I'm going to be on the Extra Life stream. As soon as this stream is done, I'm going to have lunch and I'm going to go down to Corridor and I'm going to join them for some video games. Uh, 3 to 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time is my time block. 
All right. So, I hope y'all are having a good time. I know I'm having a good time. I'm I'm really glad. This is a very uh, celebratory stream here because I'm done. We're all done. We all turned in our renders. It's gonna. It's looking really really nice. So, before I move on, um, I'm gonna ask you guys: Is there any other questions you have on my process with this? Is there anything that you want to know that I didn't talk about um, specifically here? We can maybe spend another five minutes on this, and then we're going to get into breaking down all of the, the submissions, reviewing them, giving my critiques on it, what could make it better, what I think you did a good job. Um, and then we're going to work all the way up to the winners and announce the winners to give the prizes away and ship you guys some cool prints and ship you guys some graphics cards, a quadro card, and... Uh, some SSDs and some, what is a an NVIDIA Shield TV Pro and some, you know, some uh, USB 3.0 or is it 3.1 flash drives, all from NVIDIA and PNY, they're hooking it up. Yep, I got my A7R 2 hooked up. It's a good time, we need a new place. All right. Kombucha money, heck yeah, thank you Christian. I'm gonna grab some in a second before we get to these submissions. Um, all right, for my birds, um, birds are flying to the mountain, but it is unreal because they, uh, they fly towards the camera to escape from the volcano. Uh, I see that would, that's a good note. That's a good note. They would be flying towards the camera. That's a, that's a legit note. I think that would make it like 0.1% better. I agree with you. All right, what else do we have? Materials on my character. So the materials on my character, it's a photo scan. So let me, let me show you the photo scan real quick. This is the material, it's one material. Believe it or not, this is the material that makes up my character. Um, insane, huh? It's really crazy. But it's all pieced together because um, there's just so many polygons and it makes up the, the character. I just gave it a, uh, basically I gave the character uh, a glossy kind of layer so it reflects the environment around just a little bit more. That's it. That is literally it. Um, I cranked the roughness just a bit so it's not like super sharp. You can see it here. It doesn't look like the best here, but when it's in context, I think it looks really nice. Um, dig the classic teal and orange colors, 80s, 90s. Yeah, favorite era sci-fi, absolutely. Um, from, from what you start build composition? I started with the concept art. Uh, and I used Photoshop to make the concept art. And we ended up with this at the end of stream one to guide my render process. Um, what else do we got here? <laughs> shape, no problem, man. Got you with that Skillshare Premium membership. Um, the rig and the animation is from Mixamo. Yes, I used a Mixamo, and I actually just uploaded my model to Mixamo, and I chose um, you know the points. And Mixamo auto rigs your character, and then you can just plug it into you know whichever rig you want. Um. Oh, okay. Good question. What do you ever? What do you do if you don't like something in your render? I'm assuming, but you can't tell what it is. That's. I mean, you ask someone. You ask someone for advice. So that's what I did actually. I asked. Um, there's a guy. His name. His name's a Aton Zana, and he is the. I think I believe he was the lead concept artist for Last of Us Two, and we've been talking a little bit on Instagram. And I sent him my image, my render, one of one of the like close to final versions. And he said, you know, the biggest thing that I'm feeling is that these huts in the foreground take away from the mountain in the background. It confuses the silhouette. So he said he pushed them in the back, which is why I pushed them back further. And I think it really added, it really, it made it better. 
It really made it better. So shout outs to Aton. Um, your work is incredible. So it, it was amazing to hear that from him. And uh, the same to you guys. If you guys don't know what's wrong with your render, that's the whole reason why I have a Discord server. The link is also in the description. You can go there, sign up. I mean, you don't sign up. You just, just hop in. It doesn't cost anything. Um, and, you know, we have a bunch of different channels for, you know, you guys needing advice and ideas on the renders that you're putting out. And, you know, we had this parallel dimensions work in progress channel where you guys helped each other out. It was so cool. It was so freaking cool. So, yeah, ask for help. That's what I would do. How do you make a photo realistic? Well, a lot goes into it. A lot goes into that. Um, I think it's lighting, and I think it's the way you set up your environment. Obviously, nature works in a very specific way, so you need to study nature a little bit. Study your reference. Use your reference. Um, color correct your shots. I think that those things help. Definitely bevel your edges. That definitely helps. I used Quixel Bridge and, and Mixer. Or no, sorry, not Mixer, just Bridge. Um... Any other questions before we jump into these submissions? Why do I use After Effects Beta? Because Roto Brush 2. That's the only reason. How do you uh, how do you choose footage for linear 32-bit workflow? Is it possible to seamlessly combine 8-bit fog and 32-bit footage? So what I did with my birds, because the birds were all weird when I switched to multiply in 32-bit, is I just saved out the birds and brought them back in um how i wanted them so i kind of was like saving things rendering things bringing them back into the 32-bit workflow to make sure it looked nice and worked out so that's kind of how i got around that i think that's it on which channel will corridor stream um it's gonna be the node channel yeah we're doing an extra life charity stream natalie's putting that together but uh, I'll be joining those guys at 3 p.m. after my stream here, after we get through these submissions. So here's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to go run and grab a kombucha real quick. And then we're going to hop into all of these submissions. And we're going to review them. And we're going to choose our winners. You can see I have them all lined up right here. We got a lot. But we're going to get through it. And it's going to be super fun. I'm excited. So uh, literally, like... A minute. Uh, Evolver, yo, what's up, dude? Thanks for joining, and thanks for the super chat. I really appreciate I always appreciate you, and, um, you know, you're, you're a super helpful dude, so thank you very, very much. It means a lot. Um, okay, I'm going to grab a drink, and we're going to do this. We're going to talk about all these submissions and pick our winners. Be right back. ready are y'all ready so here's what I'm gonna do here's how we're doing this I'm gonna go through all these and I'm going to use my little video layer tracks here to start pulling up renders that are that make it to the next level essentially and it's gonna work like that we're gonna keep just Pulling up renders that make it to the next level until we get to the top. And that's how it's going down. All right, Sotomonte, welcome. He's the number one mod. He's up in here crushing it. Um, modding the chat, modding the Discord server, doing a really, really good job. Let's dive into it, guys. So we'll zoom in. We'll go. Let's go all the way in. All right, first one, let's take a look. Full screen.
Okay, okay. So that's the first one. The very, very first one. How do we want, let's see, is there a better way I can do this? Like, uh, maybe if I set my in and out points. And will it loop? It won't loop. Maybe it's just because I don't know Da Vinci well enough. Maybe if you guys know the answer, you can help me out. All right, so. Dang, I really wish, I really wish it would just loop. That is what I need. Um, there's gotta be a way to do this. Replace clip. Maybe hit the loop button. Next to fast forward, yeah. What? I definitely thought that would work. <laughs> Evolver, yo, thanks again, man. Appreciate it. Heck yeah, super chats are for you also, so keep, keep them coming. Absolutely, man, absolutely. We're doing it every single week. I definitely thought that loop button would work, didn't I? Oh, that's what we'll do. We'll double click the clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the way to do it. Boom, okay, so yeah, here we go, first submission. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. Um, What am I seeing here? Okay, so it almost looks like the world is flipped up, the world is definitely flipped upside down. Um, it's like a crystal lake kind of scenario going on um, with these like weird gassy water puffs flying up into the sky. Um, I think the silhouette, it's its a little crazy. It's a little all over the place. When I squint my eyes, like there's a lot going on. I really like your, your town in the background though. I think this is cool. Um, and you know, this like factory thing looks cool up here. I just think this stuff in the foreground, the water stuff is a bit busy. It's a bit crazy. Um, but good job. You put a cloak on the character in the foreground, walking on this bridge. All right. I got you. Okay. Let's go to the next one. What do we got here? This one is insane. Oh, man. I wish I could full screen. Ah, God. Okay, hold on. We're going to figure this out. Um... Yeah, I guess this can't go full screen unless you guys know how to make this go full screen and just loop this bit. Oh, no, that's working. All right, sweet. Okay, so this one is a little a little crazy. You definitely have some intense stuff going on in the background here. Um, that, to me, feels a little intense, a little intense. But I do like your colors here, your aqua colors. You got your blue. Um, there's some sort of eyeball up in the sky here. I don't know what these guys are. They're like statue people um, and a gate. The biggest thing on this one is the sky is going all nuts on me. If It's distracting. It's really distracting. Um, you know, and it's hard to tell what these like statue lake guys are doing. So I would just go for a bit more clarity. Um, I don't know if this is glitched out or what, um, but yeah, I would just try and clean it up, this, clean this up a little bit, um, render some higher samples. I think it gets a little pixelated towards the end. Not quite sure what's going on there. Um, I don't know where I am. That's the thing. I don't know where I am. Where is this? Uh, so maybe maybe define that a little bit more. I don't know if this is water or if this is a lake. I just had a lot of have a lot of questions. I don't have anything to ground myself. The only thing I have to ground myself on this one is this gate right here and this person. Everything else, I'm not sure what it is. 
So that would be my, my advice would be to more clearly define where we're at um, and, and what's going on and what's your reference. What are you using for reference? <laughs> oh, I get you. I get you. <laughs> oh man, you messed up the keyframe for this guy. <laughs> Dude, it's all, it's all good. Dude. But it still, it still goes, it still goes to show. Okay, where are we? What's going on here? Um, I just need those answers. I need the, I need those things answered just a little bit. Um, cause I don't know where I am. Are we in an alien planet? Are we in space? Are we in a computer? I don't know. Is this water? Is this fog? But it's all good, man. You freaking put this thing together. That's a, that's another thing too, guys. Like, yeah, there, there's going to be renders that are better than other people's because we simply have either had more time to work on it or we had more experience going into it. So guys, don't worry. Don't get down about if your render's good or bad or whatever. The point is, hopefully we all learned something when we did this. All right, guys. So it, it's all it's all fair game, guys. Don't worry about it. All right, moving on, moving on. Let's go in. Ooh, this one is nice. This one is super nice. Let's pull it up. Let's talk about it. I gotta double click. And we loop it and we're in. Yeah, this one's cool. This one is amazing. Wow, okay, this one is amazing. All right, so you got your Gandalf kind of guy going down like there's just so much going on I love it so much in a good way you got a little wormy worm man uh, rolling up you got some like uh, he looks like an eggplant and a translucent eggplant sneezing while he's fishing you know he's, he's fishing super hard or something look at that um, and it goes up to his little his little uh, hidey hole up here and you got some floating islands like dude this is so cool I really love this one a whole lot. Uh, butterflies, you have particles in the air, which adds a lot of like, uh, it adds depth, certainly. You have your fog going up the mountain. I love this. It reminds me of like Fortnite colors and stuff. It's very colorful, very, very playful. I love this um, a whole lot. I think this is really, really nice. So what would I do to make it better? I don't know, barely anything. Maybe render it more samples. It's a little, uh, a little, a little noisy over here on the left side. But man, your composition rocks. Really nice. This is fantastic work here. Um, yeah, you got clouds, you're in space. It's just really good. Animated water, mushrooms, everything. This one moves up to the next level, all right? So moving on we got this guy here success now i'm not gonna i'm not gonna get the names down i can't get everyone's names because not everyone's name is in their title which wasn't something you had to do but it certainly helps um let's go ahead and run this one so it literally just started raining outside um while i'm doing this and it's raining here all right cool um you got a character going towards a mountain uh, with a giant success. All right, so this one, overall vibes, uh, not bad, not bad. I think the biggest thing for me on this one is the lighting and the color. You know, the mountain feels unfinished. The mountain feels unfinished. Um, it's just one green texture. You know, I like what you're doing with the trees here in the foreground, and you got some rocks and dirt here in the foreground, and you got some rainy texture. It feels really nice. It just feels like you put all of your work into the foreground, and then it kind of fell off into the background, um, you know, which is okay. I just think this needs a bit more work. Um, your character, you know, you didn't have time to switch out the character. You threw, like, the, the glowy kind of look on it, which is cool. You know, you have the reflection in the water. It's nice, um, but when I look at this, I just see success, you know, scribbled on the mountain and this guy going towards it. I don't really look at the environment too much. So I do a hey, good work on the lightning though. I think that's pretty sweet. I think that's a cool idea with the lightning. It looks like you have some 
an animated particle system with cloudlets in the sky, but your cloudlet, you can see the edge. So you definitely need to clean that up. And, and the, the rain has no motion blur. It looks like uh, it needs some sort of motion blur or at least reference of what rain looks like here. But I feel like this is one that just needs a bit more work. You know, your the the furniture and school signs, the UVing is a little off on that. Um, but again, I hope you learned something when you did this. So keep keep it up, keep going. All right, moving on to the next one. All right, this one. What's going on here? So it looks like some snowman. Snowman battle. Pretty pretty cool. Yeah, you got a knight. <laughs> Look at the sword. It's like not in his hand. What's going on here? The the like the the arms aren't connected with the hand and the sword's floating around. And the dude's barefoot, man, you go get frostbite immediately. And then it looks like you have some snowmen in the mountain or something. Um, he's walking towards a portal and there's like a bridge here. I guess these are like the sides of the bridge maybe. And then you got some snowy foreground action going on. It's nice, you added the particles, very, very nice. Um, you know, your lighting is, is not bad. Uh, it's just very white, it's very, very white. Um, and I'm, I'm missing stuff on the sides uh, and the, the blue and the orange on the snowman, it pops so much. It's like, boom, in your face. Um, I feel like this, this one needs a little bit more work as well. You know, I'd probably just add a bit more detail. Um, and I think, I think for me, it's the fact that the whole environment is white. And then the things that stick out is like this top hat, the character, these gray cards here that I don't quite know what they are. The sword sticks out a lot. So really all I'm seeing is like a hat, these gray things, some swords, and this guy going towards a mountain. So I need, a again, I need a bit more visual clarity, a visual, um, you know, kind of adjustments on this to see what's going on and to guide my eye throughout this world. But the snow looks nice. It feels cold. It feels super cold. So good job on that. Um, really, really good job on that. All right. Moving on to the next one. Ooh. Ooh. All right. Yo, this one, before I even get into this, this one is going up. This one steps up. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for that. Like, oh, ooh, that's nice. And then... It, it levels up, you know, you get, the, I wish I had a level up sound. I just got this stream deck, so I'm gonna be figuring this thing out too. But this is awesome. This is so cool. Um, yeah, I love it. Great work on the environment. Really cool with, uh, what is it, Zeus? Hitting his trident and changing it from day to night. That's so cool. I love your animated fog cards that are scrolling past. I feel like I'm up in the mountains. That is awesome. So cool. Um, the way you built out the environment, I think is great. It's constructed very well, it's symmetrical. Um, there's a lot of ivy growing up the sides of these uh, columns. I think that is awesome, I love it. And yeah, like this is, this is super cool, man. This is really, really nice. Definite fan. You went in and you changed out the character. Good job. You know, or at least you parented things to the character. Uh, the legs look like you switched that out. Really good work. This is super cool. I like this a lot. So like I said, you get to level up. Next one. Ooh wee. It gets the level up. Moving on, moving on. Sweet. This is, this is super cool. Um, we got a spaceman walking towards some sort of like bio dome. It's in a cube. So cool. I love your your tree shader going on here. This feels very lush and you have a waterfall with some fog. 
really nice really 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 nice um looking at the reflection it looks like you have an hdri maybe that's some sort of like reflection of the hdri you have this giant ship that's pulling away it's really cool like it's really 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 cool i think you can go even more detailed on your ship there's a guy named paul chad i think and he does these big ship renders um definitely look at his work because this is like the vibe i'm getting paul chad i think it's paul chad i think that's his name pretty sure that's his name um but this is awesome yeah, I really like your anamorphic kind of lighting here, your glare. You got some uh, some flaring with these giant afterburners. Super cool. Maybe this is like humanity leaving space world or or something. I don't know. But yeah, I dig this. You changed out the character costume. Your lighting's your space lighting is solid. Space lighting is kind of hard to get, but you got it. So yeah, you get the level up. Moving on, we got Candy Town. Let's take a look at Candy Town. All right, this one, whoa, all right, hold on, hold on. Man, this one's kind of scary. If I was trapped in this candy world, I'd be terrified. Reminds me of a couple things. Reminds me of Candyland, obviously, and that Mario Kart, uh, that Mario Kart uh, level. What is it, Candy? Candy World or something. Um, yeah, this one's creepy. Certainly creepy. The one thing I'm not getting from this is a, is like uh, basically, what's the best way to say this? Um, your composition. All right, so I'm looking at your composition, and it feels very flat. So fog would help this. Um, or just if you squint your eyes and you look at the silhouette, what silhouette am I seeing? It's kind of all over the place. So it's a bit much. It's certainly a bit much. I like your lollipop shader. I think that looks really nice. Um, but it's hard to tell. Are these pancakes? Probably. Um, I don't know what this is. The mountain texture is very low res. Um, I like the way the candy canes like swirl down to these other little candies here. That's fun. Uh, your candy cane man is awesome. Super creepy. I love it. Um, but yeah, the silhouette, I'm really having a hard time with defining, you know, I know where I am, at least I'm in some candy world, <laughs> some crazy candy world. Um, but yeah, what's lacking for me is I think the lighting, uh, and just the way it's visually set up the composition, I feel like is lacking on this one. And you know, your mountain texture is super low res and everything. But hey, as long as you learn something, that is the point. So I hope you had a fun time doing it. But yeah, this, this is cool. This is cool. Candy World. Moving on. To the next one. This one I'm a big fan of. I love this one. In Breath of the Wild, when you go to the Gerudo, is it the Gerudo Valley area? The desert place? Reminds me of that, for sure. Which was like, it's hard to say, but I think that's like my favorite area. I just love how chill this feels. You have these giant drapes blowing in the wind. This feels so relaxing. Like, I'm sure it's so hot out right now, but you're in this pool and it's just the best. This is awesome. I love this so much. Your lighting is really nice. You changed out the character. Really well done. The The clothing on this guy is really good. The, your colors are great. Uh, big fan of this one. I love the plants and everything. Like the plants, if you didn't have the plants, it would have been like half as good. But the plants make it feel so awesome. I love it. Yeah, this is great. This is really nice. You made this like a giant uh, like pyramid sand thingy. Man, yeah, I love this one. Love this one. It's leveling up. Boop. Sweet. All right, Damon Smith, you're next. 
What you got for us, Damon? Ooh. I wanted to be a jet fighter pilot when I was a kid, but then I, was, I found out I was colorblind. So that was lame. Oh, man. Man, this booch, this booch gets me. All right. So, I dig this one. I think it's really well done. Your render quality is very nice. The mountain in the background looks really good. And your character in the foreground, I dig him. I think he looks cool. You know, you got the, you changed out the clothes, did the character all nice. Your jets are looking cool. Um, yeah, time of day is really nice. I like it. I certainly like it. Now, what would I do to make this better? Um, I think your jet, I mean, the jet could be more detailed. Like, it just feel it feels, um, I don't know, too smooth. Like, I, I think a little bit more detail can go into the jets. The paint on the runway is a little low, re little low res right here. Um, so, a little bummed on that. Your pipe here is a little... Like, I know you needed something there. The pipe kind of works. It leads the eye towards the mountain, definitely. Um, but it needs some, like, surface imperfections. Um, I think you could have filled this out maybe a little bit more. Maybe there's, like, a cart, like, a fueling cart that goes right here or something. Um, but I like your sky. I like you have the fog in the foreground and everything. I think this is pretty solid. I'd say this gets the level up. Boop. Congrats, Damon Smith. Now, Egypt, we're getting... There's, like, a bunch of different versions of the Egypt one. And I cannot tell if they change or not. Um, it's hard to say. But you, the Egypt one already got the level up. So, I'm going to just move on to the next one. All right. This one. Well, let's pull this up. Let's do it right. This one is crazy. This one feels like I... I like just glitched out and I got trans I'm like being transported to another place. I like how simple it is, very simple. Um the character is a little fuzzy, he looks like a bee man. Like he's covered in bees. This almost looks like some some album art, honestly. Um and I think you have your ground is moving a little. It's hard to tell though. I think this is just a little too, I want to say plain. Um, I think it can be cleaned up a little bit. It feels like it's glitchy in some areas, like in a, in the bad way, you know, like I'm seeing this like stepping on the mountains up here. Um, and it looks like there's a lot of noise up in the sky. But yeah, I mean, I think the color is cool. I think if you did a square cutout like right here, that could be a sweet album art. Yeah, I, I think I think that's all I have to say about this one. Um, yeah, it's very techy, very very techy. Maybe you could do some like waveform. Oh, okay. You could do a wireframe mode on the ground, maybe on the sides to give it a little bit more of something. That's probably what I would do. Um, and change out maybe like switch some colors on and off or something could be sweet too. But yeah, good work, good work. Ooh, this one. This one is interesting. Let's take a look. You got a moose man walking towards a giant spider in the background. Um, yeah, good work on all of the shrubbery and foliage and stuff. That's a lot of work to be done right there. And then you have these fireflies up in the sky. You know, that adds a lot of depth to the image. You got your fossil. This is a scary place. That's another thing. It's like, where am I? Where am I in this world? Is this some Skyrim place? Is this some Dark Souls place? Like, I don't quite know where I am. 
But it's a place, you know, there's plants and there's water and there's a guy and there's a very scary spider in the background. Um, I would have added maybe a little bit more fog in the back, but you know me, I'm all about the fog. But this is cool, you know. Oh, here's here's something I'm missing is this giant fossil in the background. These trees are blocking it. I wish you would have pulled down the trees so I could see this guy a little bit more. So this looks like a giant land, like a um, place of giant creatures or something. Good work on the moon. Yeah, I think that's solid. But I'm, I'm, I want to see that fossil back there. You switch out the character, get really creepy vibes from that, which is good. Um, this one gets the level up. Boop. Good work. All right, moving on. Owen. Let's see how far we are. Dang. All right, we, maybe we need to move a little faster. We're in it, though. We're in it for the long haul. All right. This is awesome. Super nice. Lots of detail went into this. I like your mountain in the back. It's better, better job than I did on the mountain. I couldn't, for the life of me, figure out how to get, like, rock to grass to... That's the biggest thing for me is the mountain. I spent too much time in the foreground on mine. But this is cool, man. You got a lot of moss hanging from the trees and stuff. Built out the foreground a whole lot. Put a detail into it. I love it. I really do. I think this is good. You're going to get the level up, man. You're going to get the level up. I like it a lot. Oh, my goodness. You know, I'm reacting like I've seen these for the first time. I've seen all these. But this is freaking great. Dude, this is amazing. Um, yeah, you got a custom sim going on on the right side. I really, really like your composition. It feels really nice. I love your character. You changed that out. I love your lighting. The lighting feels really good. Definitely on some alien planet. I'm getting those vibes. The only thing that bugs me about this one is the low res um, like planet. The low res sky. That's the only thing that bugs me about it. But you have some really good atmosphere. Look at this atmosphere that's coming in here. Dude, that is amazing. Really nice. I love these work lights going off into the background, a crash ship. Um, it looks like these bunkers go off into certain areas. I love this. This gets the level up. Easy. Boop. 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 Easy level up. All right, next. All right, interesting, interesting. So this is another one. It's like, where am I? I think I'm in space. Is that the ISS flying by? I think so. Um, the sky is a little intense. It's a little intense. Um, I'm flying around, and there's a lot to look at. You know, they're shooting stars, blasting all over. Um, I like your character. You switch out the character. Nice. And I love these statues. Really, really cool. Um... The thing for me is I feel like the lighting. The lighting is making it difficult for me to focus on one thing. You have a lot of lights. You have this the like orange lights over here. You have the light in the in the pool down here. You have the light back here is different. It looks like that's almost an image pasted in. Um and this giant spotlight. So there's a there's a lot going on in this one. Um that I think it can just be cleaned up. But I, I like your foreground. I think you spent a lot of time on the foreground and it looks really, really nice. Yeah, I'll, oh, I, that's a Mega Scans tree right there. I recognize that tree. All right, let's get the level up on that. Boop. Ooh wee, all right. Ronin. Let's talk. All right. Very cool. Very, very cool. Um, yeah, we got this like Aztec dude headed towards a mountain in the back. Um, not bad. You got the leaves going in the foreground. Just gives it some depth. Hmm, okay. I think your lighting is good. I think it's your your sky, your background is what's getting me. It's a little low res. And it feels weird. It feels like 
I think this is a situation where you need some fog. You need some atmosphere going off into the back because it looks like this mountain is really close to him. And you need some distance between this guy and the mountain. The mountain feels like it's a miniature mountain. It feels tiny. So I think giving it some atmosphere between the character and the mountain would really help. And I think you could probably play with your lighting a little bit more too um, and put some areas of shade where you want to bring out maybe like, you know, this building right here, you can shade the trees behind it or something. You know, stuff like that helps. And I feel like this is like squished flat a little bit and crunched down. But I'm certainly getting a feeling from this. So I think it's, I think it's good and I think it deserves the level up. So let's do that. Whoop. Oh my goodness. Jeez. This one, this one's incredible. It looks like a movie. It looks like Interstellar. I mean, do we even need to get into this? Um, look at those clouds, man. Like that's what I'm talking about. That's not a low res sky. That is legit. Your fog through the trees is incredible. This building is super cool. Makes me want to know what's going on. These buildings up here makes me want to ask what's going on. This ship, I see just enough of it to be like, I want to see more of this. This is so cool. Like your trees, the placement, everything. Is... <sighs> Moving on. <laughs> you get the level up. Dude, visual. Oh my God. Look at this. Look at this. This is, yeah, obviously gets the level up. Um, ooh, look at that ground mist. That is nice. I'm really feeling something when I see this. I feel the atmosphere. It feels cold, but at the same time, I like, I want to be here at the same time. And what is this giant snake in the background, dude? That is out there. Oh my goodness. Great work on your environment. Great work on your lighting. Great work on the composition. Great work on use of atmosphere. Great work on the character. Love it. Great work all around. Like you got temples going up into this thing. <sighs> I'll get back to that one. It's getting the level up for sure. All right, next one. All right, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um, I like your trees, I think the trees look really nice. I love your character, I think that turned out really good. Your mountain, textured nicely, and your sky, good work. Really good work, I see a little bit of atmosphere and fog in there, I think that's nice. Um, the fence, creepy, I get creepy vibes with the fence here. The only thing that is lacking for me on this one is maybe a little bit of Contrast and dynamics in the lighting itself. I'd love to see some like sunlight peeking through and just hitting like a certain part of your image. Like maybe it's your character, maybe it's the mid ground with the trees back there. Um, my biggest gripe is the the grass in the foreground. It's too uniform and it's not moving. It's not blowing in the wind. Um, and I'd love to see a bit more grass on the corners, built up in the corners of this fence structure here. I feel like it's missing something. I feel like you need to keep working a little bit more on the fence. Like, what was happening here? What kind of zone is this? Um, it reminds me of the movie Stalker. Really good movie where um, these, like, Russian a scientist and, a, and an artist, a writer, they go into this zone and... Um, you know, no one's ever gone in, no one's ever come out. Or everyone who goes in doesn't come out. So it feels like that. And I'm feeling like it just needs a little bit more um, definition and clarity in terms of like 3D assets that can be dropped into this little bit. Like maybe there's an outpost. I feel like there needs to be like an outpost or like a checkpoint thing here or something. But I like it, man. I'm going to give it the level up for sure. I think it deserves it. Next up. Uh, interesting it was halo uh, halo render
All right, so I see what you're going for, but the biggest gripe is the lighting. The lighting just doesn't do it for me. It feels like, um, yeah, it just feels it feels like some weird computer generated world. You got Star Wars, you got Halo. Um, there's a lot of things going on. I don't know where I am, um, you know. But I really do like these shapes here in the foreground. I think that's super cool. That's why I say I think I know what you're going for. I think that's awesome. I would just love some more of that. And you just you know got to keep working on your lighting. Maybe it looks like you're using an HDRI to light this, but it's too bright. It's certainly too bright, um, and it needs a bit more shape. But I think I think your um, your composition isn't half bad. It's not half bad. So keep going here. Good work. I hope you learned something. I hope we all learned something. This one. Let's take a look. How's everybody doing? You guys doing all right? Thumbs ups. We got 400 people in the chat. We're reviewing art today, and we're gonna pick three winners from all from 130 submissions. We're gonna pick three winners, and it's gonna be tough. Gonna, you guys are gonna win a Quadro, RTX 4000, an SSD, an Nvidia uh, Shield TV Pro. I'm gonna be sending you guys some of my art prints as well. Like it's gonna be a good time. So this one, okay, okay. Yeah, where am I? What world is this? Um, it definitely has some like Stuzor vibes going from Instagram. Um, I like the neon lighting. I think it's cool. And I think the character in the background is kind of cool. I like that. You have an orbiting sky, which isn't the first thing I noticed. The the, the guy on the right, this rock on the right, It it's a little, it's not confusing. It's just like a circle, basically. Same for this area. It's just like a circle. So that's what I'm talking about when it's like you want to more clearly define your silhouette. If I were to squint my eyes and just look at the silhouette, what can I learn from that? You know, so you want to clearly define that, visually define your world with a nice silhouette and light it in such a way that it describes it. Like this hand I kind of lose in with the sky. I'm like losing that a little bit. Um, it looks like some giant graveyard or something. You can maybe have a bit more hands scattered about and maybe light it. I, I like this like King Mountain dude. I think that's cool. And you're strobing little lines here are cool but you know you left your character and um the ground plane just feels i think just more work could go into this definitely if you don't know look up stuzor on instagram and you'll get a lot of good inspiration from there but yeah good work very very good work moving on all right let's take a look Okay, interesting, interesting. I like your character. I really do like these hanging lights. That is cool. And you have a little character tethered to them, which is a little hard to see. I feel like it blends into the mountain. It's the same color as the mountain, so that could probably be a different color or have some lights on it or something. Your ground is, you know, just like one thing. That's what I'm talking about, like maybe adding some more detail into your ground and some contrast, some visual contrast in the ground could help out a lot. But I like this, like, rustic, like these real intense pipes and spikes sticking out of the ground. I think that's cool. But I do think that your silhouette is broken up by, it's close, you know, it's close. I think you could probably shape these a little bit more. Um, and it looks like these don't have much of a texture on them. And I don't quite know what is going on or who this character is, but it looks cool. It looks cool. Um, you know, a spaceship coming. I don't know if you need the spaceship. It's fine though. But this is cool. The mountain opening up, revealing this glowing light from the inside. I think that's pretty sweet. I think this. I think this one. Are we gonna be harsh here. Or are we gonna? I think I'm gonna be harsh. I think I'm gonna move on. Yeah, I think we're gonna continue on. Good work though. I think this is this is awesome. Um, you know, I think you can probably maybe work on your lighting a little bit more. It's a little flat. Yeah. Good work, though. Good work. Moving on, moving on. Here we go. Next one. Let's take a look. 
maybe I'm just getting harsher as I go, you know, as I go through these. This one literally looks like my friend Casey. <laughs> this is cool, man. This, remi this reminds me of uh, Half-Life 1 when you go to the alien world a little bit. And I like these spinning lights. And you have the animated, um, the animated wires, which is cool. This giant wire to the left. I'm not quite sure what that is. It's too smooth. Need some surface imperfection. Um, and it looks like you're you rendered at a really low sample rate. Maybe just to get it into the hundred megabyte limit. But yeah, no, this is Death Stranding vibes. You have like the highway going with everything. It's pretty sweet. Um, but I do feel that there's a lot lacking in the texture quality. Um, it could be a lot more higher res. You can have a lot more contrast here, uh, visual contrast, different kinds of material, different kinds of ground plane mixed in with this. Um, but you got the fog, you know, certainly got the fog going. And this, this dude just looks like a regular dude. Like, why is this dude here? That's a good question. I, I want to know the answer. I'll give it the level up. We'll get the level up on that. Next one. Oh, I mean, I can just level this one up. <laughs> you get the level up. Absolutely. This is great. No, this is really nice. Um, I love your character. I love your lighting. I love your environment. Um, the only thing I'm missing out on is this mountain. Look at the mountain. It's really low res, and I don't know what this scribbly light is. I don't know if that's lava or... I don't know. I don't know. Um, it would have been nice to have some, like, you know, some uh, some snow on that thing. I think would have been cool. But, man, you put so much work into your foreground and your midground. This looks really nice. It's just like that, that background is not complete and it doesn't quite, you know, it falls flat in that sense. But everything else is amazing. Like your fence, your quarantine, your, your dude, like this is awesome. This is really, really cool. I dig it. So you got the level up for sure. Moving on. This one, okay. So my first thing, where am I? I don't know where I am. It's kind of scary looking. Um, you're going through a door and going to another place. I, I get the idea. I get the idea. I just think the execution, um, you could have spent more time on it. Or maybe this was your best and this is all you had. And if, if so, congratulations. Like seriously, um, maybe you learned how to use Blender for this. Who knows? That's why I can't be too harsh on you guys. You know, Everyone's putting in good work here. But yeah, I think this one, the lighting needs to be a bit more defined. Um, your mountain in the background feels tiny and pasted in. Really, the, the biggest one for me on this is lighting. Second would be composition. You have the symmetry thing going. This is off center. I'd probably center this thing a little bit. I'd center this, this, uh, this planet. Your sky is just one color. I'd, I'd get a sky going, you know, um, and, and more detail. You want more detail in your ground plane. Um, and really, like, what are you going for? Is this water you're going through? Because if, if this is water with, like, the grass on the side, there's some cliffs, like, this is a cool idea. And I think if, spent more, if you had more time and maybe a bit more experience, you could take this boom, 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 boom to the next level. Um, I love this glowing green pipe though. That's my favorite part about the whole thing. So good work, good work. Oh, visual, you you know, you can't hog, you can't hog the freaking submission process. And and Dane, you too, both y'all. I know you guys are submitting just so uh, to make sure I got your submission. I get it. I'm just giving you a hard time. All right, next one. Same deal, where are we? I don't know where we are. The lighting on this one is lacking. Um, I don't know what these little macaroni things are. I'm not quite sure. Your color is, I wouldn't say all over the place. You know, you, you have your pink and blue with a little bit of green in there. That's not bad. 
Um, personally, this is just a style thing. I'm not the biggest fan of like super crazy colors, alien world kind of stuff. Um, like I need, to, I need to feel grounded. And the only thing that grounds me in this is the character, but barely, you know, it's definitely some alien character. Um, and then that's about it. You know, that's the only thing that I have to ground me. It makes me feel like I don't want to be here. Um, not in a bad way. It's just some alien landscape where I'm like, Ugh, I don't know about this. But there's a road w with clearly tire marks going here. So there must be some sort of truck somewhere. That's interesting. Um, but yeah, I think this one, if you're going to do some alien sort of world like this, I would definitely look up games that do this kind of stuff. Like, God, I can't think of any right now. I can only think of Spore. That's like the only thing I could think of. Um, but there's been some really good ones, you know, in the recent uh, last couple years that have taken place on alien worlds like this. I'm trying to think of, they're like, it's the one with the spaceship and you fly around and visit planets. Reference that. Try and get that look. Um, but I see what you're going with here. Keep it up though, all right? Keep it up. All right, moving on. Oh man, this movie crushed me. Grave of the Fireflies. Yikes. Um, I love this. A lot of you guys d have done this like cartoony Ghibli style render, render style. I love it. Um, this one's cool, man. It's a breath of fresh air. I have a style change now. I love your sky. Your clouds are cool. They're moving. Um, you have a fire with a B-25 bomber dropping some bombs, super jacked up. You have bamboo in the yards. Um, you're in an alleyway here. I love it. Your character's cool, and you have the side character going. I like this. I like this. It's going to get the level up for me. It feels fresh. And I think it's well composed. Your colors are nice. Good, good choice with the color. Oh, my God. Level up for sure on this one. This is craziness. Look at this. Look at the detail on this, man. Oh my god. So cool. Um, geez, so much going on. Wow. This is amazing. Like everything, everything in this. Holy crap. I don't even know where to start. So... Uh, it's called Lord of the Rings. You got an orc over here. I mean, dude, yeah, this is freaking awesome. This is so cool. You have your tattered flag. You have your, your uh, water on the right. Your atmosphere and smoke over here on the right. There's atmosphere and smoke everywhere. And there's like stuff going up into the sky. Like, I don't know if that's like Dark Souls kind of stuff. Your background is full of like simulations and explosions. And oh my god. No, this is nutty. This is this is nutty. This gets the level up for sure. Absolutely amazing. Great work. The only gripe, it's hard to tell what the character is. It just kind of looks like a glowing blob. And there's there's almost so much going on that it's hard to fix my eye on like one thing. But this is awesome. Like you really built out this world so well. Great work. I love your silhouette, your shape and your contrast or your your uh, composition is really nice. Yeah, level up, absolutely. This one, okay, so I've been playing a lot of Ghost of Tsushima. And I, uh, I mean, this one, to me, this one gets the level up, absolutely. I like it a lot. I love fog, obviously, you guys know me. I love my fog and my atmosphere. But I think you did a good job on the character. And I actually think the way you color corrected it made it feel... Um, filmic. It feels like a movie. It feels real. Um, you know, I kind of did the same thing. I didn't have, I wasn't the happiest with my mountains, so I covered it up with some fog. And you did a really good job here. Now your water could be a little bit, have a bit more detail in it, or maybe maybe it could be, it could be mud or something, but this is definitely a flooded area. The Tory gates are flooded. The temple's flooded. And, you know, maybe the samurai built some bridge to get to the mountain or something. Um, but dude, this is freaking cool. I love the lights here in the background with this. Yep, it got the level up for sure. Oh my goodness. Jussie? Jussie? Juicy? I don't think your name's Juicy. Um, but man, this is good. 
man, this is really good. This is this might. Whew. This feels like a movie. Yep, feels like a movie. Um, incredible, absolutely incredible. Your lighting is ridiculous. Your environment is ridiculous. Look at how well you placed all of these trees and and bushes and grass and it's actually blowing in the wind. What program did you use for this, man? Also, I saw the front of your character and it's hilarious. It totally looks all jacked up. But from the back it looks great. This is so good. Wow. It reminds me of, is Cromfell his name? He has a really nice um, tutorial series on how to make environments like this. And it's just absolutely, oh no, no Calder, Caldermore. Caldermore, that's his name, I think. This is great, man. This is just so good. You get the level up for sure. We can, we can dive into that later, but that is amazing. Next up, this one totally reminds me of the original Dark Souls. Um, the part when you, you know, like basically go into hell and you have to open up all those gates and stuff and then you fight that giant dude in the back. It's a, this is exactly what it reminds me of. And you just got your average Joe walking through here like no big deal. This is super creepy. Um, I love this. The only, dude, the only thing, look at this, top left, this fire is huge. You need to slow that fire down. Bigger things move slower, so slow that fire down. Um, it'll make it feel larger. Um, no, this is good, man. Good job on the sky. Good job on this, like, freaking demon up here in the chair. You guys with these chairs, you know? These center-framed large chair people. I love it. Your lighthouse is terrifying. It's so terrifying. This really gives me a sense. I can feel the environment here. This is so good, man. Really good work. I'm gonna give this the level up for sure. All right, next up. So um, I forget this gentleman's name, but he hit me up and he said he only had, he had a render problem and could only render 30, 30, 33 frames so apologies and this is what you had man um not bad not bad at all you know you get your glass uh your frozen lake on the right your character going through um the snow on his head going towards the mountain not bad at all you got some trees going here uh your lighting is good i think this is good yeah this is good nice nice hdri background back there um now what I would do to add to this, man, like maybe I would tweak the exposure a little bit, lower the exposure, give it a vignette, color correct it a little bit, um, give the sun maybe a, a lens flare. But I like how this falls off into foggy, kind of a foggy background. I think that's really good. Did a good job with that. Maybe you could use a little bit more um, variety in your plant choice here in the snow. Um, but this isn't bad. This is not bad at all. Like it almost looks like a bunch of trees here and then it comes out to a clearing on the right. What I mean, it almost looks like that. It is that. <laughs> I'm just describing the image. Uh, that's my review is just describing the image. What I'd do to make this better? Maybe some fog on top of the mountain. I don't know. Maybe work on your visual uh, composition just a little bit. Uh, switch out the character for sure. But I think this is good, man. It's certainly good. I'm sad it's not the full 88 frames. But I think you did a really good job. You know, I think this if this was 88 frames, I'd give it the level up. Um, and I'm hoping that you can maybe render the rest of that. Because I'd love to include it in the montage video. I think it'd be cool. Alright, this one we saw. Let's take a look at this one. So here's one where I don't quite know where this is. I feel like this is a scary place. Definitely a scary place. Um, the lighting, I think, is a little tough. I don't know where this blue 
I guess, are these lights, are these all lights going down here? I guess so. The ground, I don't know what that is. I'm not quite sure what that ground is. And I don't know why um, like a civilization would build out all of these like watchtowers. But I don't know what they're watching. What are they watching? And you have like a lighthouse thing up here, which looks cool. I think the foreground just needs a bit more story, a bit more clarity as to what's going on. And your lighting looks like it's being lit from the side over here. Some side light action. You get some fog, some like misty smoke. That's cool. Not bad. But yeah, I'm, I'm missing where am I? What, um, what's going on? Those are the things that I that I am feeling. And also, I'm lacking the the foreground element, you know, the story in the foreground. I feel like maybe with I don't know, with some stuff to look over, with some stuff to watch. These are definitely watchtowers. It looks like watchtowers to me. Maybe they're homes, but why are the homes built up on stilts like that? Is it a flooded area? I mean, there's water down here, so maybe that's why. But maybe some bridges between the homes could be cool. But yeah, this one just barely, just barely missed out on the level up just barely i think um defining those things could help this out a lot and i think tweaking your lighting a little bit more could help too what's your reference for the lighting on this finding that reference i think could help out a lot all right moving on Ooh, this one is this one is nice so how are you guys doing are you guys hanging in there give me some thumbs ups if you're still hanging in there with me um I really hope you guys are, are uh, learning something with this critique. Um, we still have 450 people up in here, so that's really sweet. I appreciate you guys for, for hanging in there and sticking around. I'm glad that you know everyone's so interested in figuring out everyone's art and seeing everyone's art, so that's really cool. Awesome, awesome. So this one's awesome, look at this. I think the render quality is amazing. Oh. Oh, you'll get your turn, Ivan. You will get your turn. Yeah, render quality is sick on this one, man. Super cool. You know, couldn't change out the character or didn't have time to change out the character. So you see him the chrome kind of vibe. I dig it. The chrome was the way to go on this, though, because it clearly stands out. Um, from the environment around this person. You're using the Mega Scans mushrooms, recognize those. Some Mega Scans ferns, and you got some nice movement in there too, which is good. Is that RD textures on the rocks, maybe? It looks like it. Maybe it's Mega Scans, hard to tell, but those columns are really cool. Um, I dig your, these arches in the fog you got going and you have like a nice lens flare here too i think that's really nice i'm just missing uh the mountain the mountain disappears for me but i love the way this sun peeks out over that i think this is great i'm gonna give it a level up just missing the mountain that's the only thing all right ivan it's your it's your time to shine i think this is amazing all right it's got sound but i gotta mute the sound hold on hold on how do i how do i mute the sound if okay never mind i'll just do what any normal person would do all right there we go you got some bruce willis looking dude walking towards the american dream is that a restaurant not quite sure oh man you got parallel dimensions written on the side of this van that's super cool i like that easter egg you said there's a few easter eggs i see a p and y um, license plate, that's super cool. And then this says accessories store. I'm not quite sure. And then that says no no value or no something. I wonder if I got all of the Easter eggs. I know you said there's a lot in here. So that's cool. You got birds going. I think the birds are moving too slow. Birds are definitely moving too slow. Um 
but man, you nailed the raindrops hitting the ground here. I think that's great. You got some paper flying on the ground. That's cool. I love the city in the back. It feels like a Grand Theft Auto just outside of the city kind of a thing. Oh, this dude has a gun. Shot this guy. And is walking towards this place to shoot those people. Oh, man. That's all jacked up. Great work with the um, lightning. I think you did a solid job with the lightning up here. Um, and your composition is great. I really like it, man. This feels complete. You put in all the work and you completed this render. You get the level up. Yeah, of course. Oh. Shoot. This one is incredible. This one is so good. Look at those birds. So Ivan, remember we were talking about the birds moving fast. This is these are birds moving a little faster. I think this feels about right. Look at this. Absolutely incredible. Look at those birds back there by the handle of the sword. It really the birds really give it scale. And you got the the clouds coming over this thing. Oh my god, it looks so good. This is a complete render. Absolutely incredible. You have your fog, some nice uh, foreground fog here. So good. Your lighting is incredible. You filled out the foreground with different kinds of plants and bushes. Really well done. I love your your colors here. This Is that a gate? He's walking towards this giant gate. Definitely got some Dark Souls or um, Hyperlight Drifter kind of vibes. Um, I don't know what this thing is. That's the only thing. Like, oh, it's going off into the background too. That is so cool. Yeah, it's really well done. This is, this is a ten out of ten. Like, amazing, amazing piece of art. Absolutely. Yeah, this gets the level up for sure. Man, that is so good. That is so good. Oh, this is cool. I like this. So this is, I think, the second person who's played with scale. But you have this character walking towards a window. Um, I love this. It's just like an art station. It's all maxed out. You have a pencil rolling. That's so subtle. I love it. Um, save, save, render, and save. Yes, absolutely. Is that Cinema 4D or Blender open on your computer? It looks like a laptop with a Parallel Dimensions project file. I love it. <laughs> this is awesome. Man, this is super cool. This definitely gets the level up. I love your render quality. I think everything looks really nice. I'm just seeing a little bit of like noisy stuff here. I don't know if you can use a denoiser or something or just more samples, but that, you know, you can take care of that, no problem. This is amazing. I love it. The only thing that bugs me about this one is the character. Because I'm not quite sure what the character is. I think now I'm looking at it closer. Is it's a it's a drawn character. It's sketched with the pencil. But you know what I think would be better is those like wooden mannequins that you use for art to like position um, for uh, like perspective and stuff when you're drawing characters. It's kind of like this guy back here, but it's like the wooden version of it with like the wooden joints. I think that would be more fitting for the scene. Cause I'm just not quite sure what this guy is. I, I didn't really know what he was at first. Um, and you even have the uh, the tablet pen in the back. Dude, that's super cool. I love this. Yeah, level up. All right, here's one. Here's, um. let's see. Okay, so with this one, this is another question of, I don't know where I am. Um, and it's hard to tell like what's going on. To the right is that buildings, and then to the left is that like future buildings or something. Um, you got that's a sweet space cloak. I think that's pretty cool. Um, and then yeah, you definitely got some space stuff going on. I think for me the colors on this one is just like too vibrant. It's too much, too intense. Um, and your lighting I think could just be worked a little bit. It definitely gives me the feeling of like scary like otherworldly fantastical kind of feelings that 
it's like it's a foreign world that makes me uncomfortable which is good you know you get a feeling out of somebody that's okay that's what you that's what you want you want to get a, a feeling out of someone with a render or with any art but I think it's just a matter of like I don't know where I am I don't I'm confused as to what these buildings are or who this is um, it looks like the plants down here are too small and you need that uh, you need a wide variety of different types of plants to make it not look like it's just like the one plant scattered all over I don't know what this thing is it's floating in the sky I'm not sure um, I think that's fog over here good work on the fog yeah and then some space dome or something yeah I think with this again find your reference with these ones um, and there's been a few like this you really want to find a reference that you want to go for so I think that would help you on your next piece and it will clearly define like what you're going for um, and the more you do it maybe you can start working without reference but I always work with reference always always so yeah work with reference next time try and find a look or a, a lighting style that you want to go for because um, it, it just feels a little all over the place right now that's the only thing all right, next one, next one. Ooh, -wee. this is one of our uh, one of our own here. This is so, you know, this is all this is all of all you guys are part of this whole thing. But this is Sotomonte. I love it, dude. The Ghibli render. Your character's animated on twos, which means ev um, basically every other frame the character moves. So you get that like uh, you know that Spider Man. Uh, into the spider verse kind of feel with your character it feels like an anime uh you have your flowing grass i love but here's the, here's the thing soto um i want that grass to be a little smaller i feel like it's too tall it's blocking too much of your character and i feel like it needs more again contrast in the plants i think you need a couple more pieces of grass maybe little patches maybe some darker patches um i mean obviously you have your reference you know it's How's Moving Castle, you know, those rolling planes, that kind of stuff. Um, so I think you could go for a little bit more contrast in your hills and whatnot. Your sky is incredible. Totally looks like the sky from the scene in Spirited Away when they're on the train and they go by the house. It looks like that. I love I love your scene. I think the, uh, the giant, like, air uh, turbines are super cool. And you even got a little waterfall animation going, which is awesome. And I know you're in Blender, um, so it's really, really cool to see that. But yeah, I want to see more of your character, man. But dude, this definitely gets to level up. I think it's awesome. I love how you go for a different style. So, shout outs. Would it be awkward if I'm like, nah, dude, you don't get the level up? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. All right, this one. So... I don't know where I am. I don't know what these what the structure is surrounding the image. Um, and the character, I don't know who the character is or what they're going for. Um, yeah, this one just has a lot of. I have a lot of questions with this one. Like, where where is this? What is this? Um, these structures, I'm not quite sure what they are. Um, I like your foreground element. You know, you have, the, you have the trees and the sticks hanging in here. I think that's cool. It breaks it up. But I don't know what this like cloudy patch is up here, stuck to the foreground. I'm not sure what that is. Um, so I think it's a little. I wouldn't say all over the place. I think it just needs to be kind of honed in a little bit more. And again go for reference i'm wondering that you know renders that make me feel uh like i want to know where we're at i wonder if you guys used any reference so definitely use your reference that's going to help out a whole lot the texture on this architecture here there isn't really any so it's definitely lacking in that sense um but hey you got some good tree models in here um and you switched out your character costume so that's good your ground plane i think is a little too large I think it can be scaled down. So reference, really, all this comes down to is you guys using reference and following your reference. Please, please, please use reference in the future. 
Um, but yeah, good work. Good work. I hope we're all learning something on this. I really do. Okay, this one. This is definitely some Death Training vibes here. Or what's that movie? Uh, the um, Isle of Dogs. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that a little bit. This one's cool, man. You got the fog going, and there's a really cool, like, little cave system up here. That's fun. I like that. Really interesting character. You got the radar on the back. I like it. Very barren kind of landscape. Now, compositionally, I think your energy pillars can be scooted in a little bit because we kind of lose them by the end of the render. We're losing them off the frame. I, I, I want to see them scrunched in just a little bit, maybe here and here, like maybe where this mountain is. I could, I could feel that. And also the ground, I feel like, again, is a little too big. Those cracks, I feel like it'd be a little bit smaller. And I think you can have a bit of visual definition, a bit more visual definition in your in your textures on the ground too. You want to break it up a little bit. But I love, I love your fog and your atmosphere here. I think you did a really good job with that. You nailed that look. Um, it feels low res to me. I think that's just the way you rendered it is the only way you can get it in. Definitely do a high res version of this, man. You deserve it. I think it's awesome. Um, and I love, I love this like cloak thing that you added to the character. I think it's great. And I love your colors too. So it gets the level up for me. All right, Anthony. Let's get some Star Wars vibes. Good render quality. I like your render quality, and I like your character. Um, your environment is nice too. Oh, this inverted pyramid is awesome. Really dig this thing. I'm not sure what this is. I don't know if it's a spaceship or what. But these inverted pyramids are really cool, and these little huts back here are cool. I feel like this inverted pyramid is just taking, or not inverted pyramid, I'm sorry. This like, I'm gonna call it a spaceship. It feels like it's like a black void kind of taking me out. I, I feel like I'd remove this and I'd add more of this kind of stuff, the pyramids and the huts. I love these things, they're super cool. And you have some pillars here. I feel like maybe the pillars could be guiding his walk and his path up to the mountain. I also think you could use um, where the sand meets the mountain, I feel like you can actually have a more of a transition between the sand and the mountain versus just this line. And the mountain feels small to me. It feels very, very close. So I don't know if there's some things you could do, like maybe add some tiny birds up there to make it feel smaller. Or maybe it's just the way you texture it, textured the mountain, which it's tough. The mountain was tough for me too. Um, so maybe maybe you just needed a bit more finer detail up there to spend a bit more time on the mountain. But I love your your um, your like haze layer. I think that's nice. Your sun over here, like this this blast of white with um, this like yellow fall off on this pyramid. It 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 does pull my eye up there, but it's so far over there. You know, I I, I want to keep it central. Um, maybe if this was kind of I like the your long shadow is really nice. This is really good. It's a good render. It's gonna get the level up for me for sure. So we'll move you up onto the next track. Oh my god, we are not even we're about halfway done. I gotta I gotta keep moving. This one is amazing. That that is dude, yeah, this one's freaking cool. I'm honestly blown away by this one. This is incredible. I love the style so much. There's a guy on Instagram, I forget his name, but he does stuff like this. Yeah, this is this is next level here. Um, I love how your smoke is animated on the twos. I wish your character was on the twos as well. Like I really, I just love that look. I love that look so much. This is incredible. The lightning up here, dude. Yeah, you get the level up. Absolutely. Oh man, Danny, this is sweet. This is another example of playing with scale. 
oh, so cool. And very disgusting, very creepy, because these ants are crawling into this hole with a light in it. And there's a giant shoe here with like rocks stuck in the soles. The detail on that's incredible. Oh man. I love your character. You switch out the character really nice. And the foreground, like all these sticks and everything. I love this play with scale. I think it's great. The shader on your ants is great. Look at the, you can see them glowing from the inside. That is really well done. Very, very cool. This one's incredible. This one definitely gets the level up for me. Moving on. So this came in two. I think this was, we'll start with this one. So this one is um, another example of figuring out where we are. Where are we and what's going on? Um, you know, like it feels kind of like you're in a space station and you're entering a different world, but it just needs more work. Like your ground plane is literally invisible here on the ground here. Um, and your mountain has just like one lava texture. It'd be nice to see the ground actually be some lava too. Um, but yeah, the missing ground plane and, and it's like your entire ground plane is gone. It's just your HDRI, so that's kind of bleeding through. So definitely want to add a ground <laughs> on the next round. Um, and then, yeah, I'm missing the scale. This feels very tiny to me. Your transformation is cool, though. That's my favorite part of the whole thing is the transformation. So that, that's awesome. All right. Next up. So this one feels very dark and it looks like it's being lit from behind the camera a little bit. Is that a Lego? Is that a freaking Lego dude back here? What on earth? Why? That's really funny. Um, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. You have the grass going here. It looks like the wind kicks up at one point and then the mantis raises up. We got some fog right here in the foreground. Mantis is coming up this guy. This one's creepy. Um, it's certainly creepy. You get that scale, definitely that that like perspective going. Um, it just feels, I think your lighting is the biggest issue here for me on this. Um, it's a little too dark. It's just too dark. And it'd be cool if the mantis was hidden and then it and then it raised up. It, it revealed itself. I think that'd be cool. Your character itself. I don't know what that thing on his back is. Saw blade maybe. But yeah, no, this this isn't bad. I think you could just work on your lighting. Um and maybe scoot this grass over on the right. Scoot it over a little bit more to the right. So you have this clear symmetrical kind of path guiding you right to the mountain. It's a little off center. It's not the worst. I think that's more of a stylistic choice. It's just the lighting to me, I think, is the biggest issue. All right, another another example of, of where are we? What is this place? It's an alien world and it's scary. I don't wanna be here. This is terrifying. Um, you have a fedora man walking towards this green thing. I like how you hollowed out the mountain. That's nice. Actually, I think that's cool. But I, th I feel like this one's just lacking in in detail and um, clarity of like where we are, what this is, where we're going. If you're going for some like Avengers Endgame kind of feeling, um, maybe use that as the reference and pull it up and really try and get it there. I think you're missing some fog, some atmosphere. It feels miniature to me, your scale. I think it needs atmosphere in order to, to make this feel a little bit smaller. And your crystals um, are, you know, they just kind of stop right here. So I think you need to maybe, again, use more reference to guide um, your your creative choices here and fill out this world. So an alien planet, even though it's an alien planet, it doesn't mean all rules of nature are out the window. You should probably follow some rules of nature. In fact, I think you should follow like 80% rules of nature. There's an 80-20 rule. Basically, it's a rule that says 80% should be 
something that's familiar and 20% should be something new. This is too much in the 20%. This is like 10% familiar, 90% foreign. So I think you need to really rope it back, even though it's an alien planet, and make it feel um, more familiar. That's what I'm. That's what I'm lacking. The lighting, yeah, it's it's tough with the lighting. And when I say familiarity, I mean with like everything, with the lighting, with the composition, um, even with the character. I'm not quite sure who it is. This one, wow, there's a lot going on on this one. Holy crap. It's really cool, but my eye is like all over the place. I don't know where to look. There's so much going on. That'd be the only like downside to this one is just your composition. There's too much going on for me to try and focus on one or two things. I'm trying to read the text. You know, there isn't any contrast in terms of your composition. You know, the whole thing feels heavy. I need parts that are heavy, parts that are light. And this is all personal. This is all personal, um, just into my style. You know, this this could certainly work at a certain in a certain place. But I think what would really help this is just defining your focal point and focusing your your value and your contrast and your light there and having everything else kind of like fall off onto the sides. Maybe it's a color thing. Maybe you do it with colors. Everything's one unique or one uniform color right now. Maybe if you made the central point warm and everything outside of it cool, that could actually help focus your energy on or focus your 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 eye on one point. So you can use color, you can use composition, you can use contrast and you can use, um, what else? Yeah, composition basically is, the, is how you choose to put things and shape things in your image. You can use that to draw the eye. You can use color to draw the eye, color contrast. You can use a light contrast, so value to draw the eye as well. It's just too over, it's too all over the place for me. Um, but it's well done, I think it's cool. I think it's super cool. You know what, that one, that one I'll get the level up on that one, okay? I got you. Mmm, interesting, okay. This is a complete piece. I like it. Um, you got the birds going. Very nice. Your lighting is not that bad end of the day I think your mountain is really cool good job on the mountain um, and you have a little radar dish up top it's cool you got some birds animated on the left on the wire it's really nice um what's missing from this what's missing from this your atmosphere is good your light from the city is good I think what's missing, you could probably go more detailed on the road, more detailed on the mud on the right. I think you can use a bit more contrast. When I say contrast, um, you can use a bit more variation in your, your shrubs. And then I think you could probably, I think it's the sky for me that's getting me. It's like maybe the horizon could be more of like a daytime. And then as you get up into here, it's a storm. You know, just kind of stormy all around, but it's not necessarily bad. You know, I think I think this is good, and this gets the level up for me. We did this one. Ooh, this one. Okay, this one gets a level up. Yeah, let's jump in and see why. I'm a huge samurai fan. I love it. Um, this is freaking cool. So this is an example of a piece of art that's busy. There's a lot going on, but it has, um, it's uniform and it has, it has like a, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it has a direction. It has a direction. All of the, the elements in the scene is, are guiding my eye to the center towards the mountain. What I mean by, 
um, light value and light contrast to guide the eye. It's You're seeing it here. It's very dark on very bright. And that's guiding my eye right here. It's the brightest and the darkest point of the image. These torches are coming down to a vanishing point up to this central point here towards this temple. And then you have this nice, um, these temples, these floating temples guiding your eye. It's the cemetery guiding right here. And then you have um, your, your cherry blossom trees that are on the left and right as well. So you're definitely going for that symmetry. I like this one a lot. Um, you have particles in the air that give it depth and you have these clouds back into the background which also give it depth. The only thing I think can make this better is fog slash atmosphere between your temple and your mountain because I'm losing this temple, right? So I wanna be able to see the shape of this temple against the mountain and I'm not because they're the same color basically. So what I need is some sort of fog card or atmosphere behind the temple and in front of the mountain to make it pop out a little bit more. But I love this. I think your colors are just wild enough to be crazy and fantastical, but not wild enough so that it's like, where the heck am I? This feels really cool. I like this a lot. This gets the level up, definitely. All right, so this one, is that Rayquaza from Pokemon? Okay, this one, again, kind of all over the place, a little all over the place. Um, it's just a lot, it's a lot. I don't know what to focus my eye on, and I don't have anything to ground myself on. It's, it's you know, the 80-20 rule. You want 80% familiar, 20% foreign or new. You could say 80% 80, 80 is something I'm used to and 20% is something new, it's a new idea. This is like 90% new and foreign, 10% familiar. Like the only thing that's familiar to me is this guy moving, that's it. Um, your sky is a little crazy, it's just kinda like all over the place, it's like really intense. So again, my advice on these ones is to find reference. What is your reference, what are you going for? And, and work towards that. Find a good reference and really build towards it. Yeah, that'd be my advice for that one. But good work, I hope you learned something. That's the whole point, guys, I hope you learned something. You got some, you know, this is cool. If this is like your first year in Blender or whatever, like you're doing some cool stuff. You know, you got some light bouncing off the mountain, some glowy stuff, you got some characters that are animated. Literally, you're animating characters, you're animating these little things. You got a character in the scene, like you're doing good stuff. If this is, you know, like year one or year two in Blender, like keep it up. We've seen that one. Ooh, I like this one. This one's cool. I like your colors. And of course, I love the whole Japanese vibe. Um, I still got to beat Ghost of Tsushima. I'm really close. Yeah, this is cool. I like it. You got your character going here with the cherry blossom, the animated cherry blossoms, which are animated kind of the same like they're kind of breathing they're like one two one two and you can see the repetition in it good work on the birds you got the birds going your mountain looks a little low res but i love your temple up there your ground plane is the biggest thing that's throwing me right now it's just it's just glass which i get i get you it is water but it feels like it's just missing detail it feels like i'm missing detail i know there's reference for this there's some salt flats that flood over just a little bit in like Utah and stuff. So you can definitely reference that. Um, maybe it's your lighting. You might be able to tweak the lighting to make it feel a bit more realistic. Um, but it, it has that like video gamey kind of render feeling to it. But I love your particles in the air. I think it's really nice. Maybe next time start your particles, start emitting your particles um, on frame negative 100 so that they're, they start in the scene. You know, unless you wanted it this way. But you definitely have two wind, two crosswinds blowing in like this, which is interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. I think it's cool, though. I think it's cool. Good work. Next up, we got this freaking, like, dark metal album cover. 
Swedish metal album cover band. Sweet. Um, yeah, man, good work. You got your fog, you got your atmosphere, you got your composition going, which is super cool. The, again, this is kind of like Stuzor feelings. If you guys know Instagram, guy, guy on Instagram by Stuzor, kind of get those feelings. You got the giant statues. I love your lighting. I love your clouds. You got the birds in there. You got doing some cool stuff with the mountain back here. I think that's cool. You have some trees going. I love your composition. I love your lighting. It's getting the level up. Ooh, this one is cool. Ah, very, very cool. I love this. This is unique. This is very different. I like it. So first off, great render quality. Um, nice composition. Cool lighting. Love your lighting. And the idea. That's the next level. You went the next level. You have an idea with this. Like, you're doing something different. You know, people have ideas. But you're doing something different. Um, you're combining these worlds. It is the parallel dimension. I love it. It's really cool. You got your floating uh, leaves in the foreground, your particles and whatnot. Really good work on the detail with your ground plane. I'm always like, that's that's the first thing is like the ground plane. I'm seeing that it's the closest. So it's gotta be the highest detail. Good work on this, man. I really love it. You get the level up for sure. We've seen this one. Ooh, MDK. What's up? All right. So I've never seen the movie Cars, but I need to. Your render quality, amazing, always good. Oh my God, you literally mosaiced out, <laughs> you, you mosaiced out the license plate, but you forgot on this frame right here. And it says Peter and Nico and Sam and Ren and Clint. That's some next level. Dude, that's some next level. That is cool. Wow. That's awesome, dude. That's super fun. I love it. Um, is this supposed to be like the trial where Nico's on trial? I don't know. But your render quality is really nice. Your lighting is nice. Your atmosphere and your fog is really nice. Um, your framing is good. It's coming up to this stop sign. I love it. Yeah, you have your volumetric fog in there. You get the level up. Of course, your renders are always really nice, man. That's hilarious. This one feels like... Oh, hold on. You remember the moment at the end of the Matrix when Neo realized he was the one? That's what I feel like this one is. And when he like starts seeing, when he starts seeing in code and everything, like that's the vibe I get from this. It's really cool. Um, you have the floating rocks and the particles, like this swirling mountain. I think it's amazing. Um, I'm just, I'm missing out a little bit on the character again. It's like it's glowy and it's just kind of this glowy blob. I'm not really getting a character from that. Um, but your landscape is incredible. I really like your landscape. It feels really intense, like you've traveled all your life to come to this point. Um, and you have this swirling particle effect around the mountain, which is really cool. This one gets the level up for me. All right, Star Wars vibes. I love it. Very cool. Now, it looks like a miniature because of your depth of field. Um, I really dig the uh, these big sand crawlers. I think those are cool. And your building in the back is awesome. Your character is great, too. This has a really good feeling to it. Uh, your, your HDRI and your lighting, I really dig. You're using your lighting here. This is cool. You have streaks of sunlight and shade sunlight and shade and it helps the character stand out so i really like that you're side lighting your character your render quality is really nice this gets the level up for me so you're making it to the next level 
All right, this next one is World War One. A lot of work went into this one, didn't it? Wow. So I know where I know where we're at. This is some World War One stuff right here. Um, it's a it's a battle for the battle of all battles going on right now. The forest is on fire. The mountains on fire. Everyone's going crazy. We're running through no man's land. Um, really well done. Yeah, this is really well done. I like what you're going for. I think your composition is good. I can tell what's going on. I know what's going on. I know who your characters are. I know where we're at. I know where time period we're at. So that's good. Um, I think your your models are a little low poly. I think you could have used maybe a little depth of field to hide the foreground just a little bit. You could use motion blur. Motion blur is going to help you out a lot with these guys falling down. Um, certainly. And I think... If you scale down the texture for your lights in the mountain, it's going to make the mountain feel a little bit smaller, or um, it's going to make the mountain feel bigger. So if you take these little like flickering lights, which is cool, and you maybe just make them a bit more clear and smaller, it's going to make the mountain feel bigger. Um, looks like the mountain's being lit by the fire to the left and right. Good work on the sky. I think you got the sky down really nice. Nice um, space HDRI. This one gets to level up. I think it's good. I think it's really good. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> That's intense. So did this, dude, did this dude just cast a spell or did... Was his spell incomplete? Because like the laser's coming into the middle to the middle of the, the character feels like a spell is being cast. He's in a robe. But, I mean, really good job on your your simulation for the mountain explosion. Like, that's incredible. It's coming from this little spot up here. Um, it looks like you use World Builder, maybe, for um, to texture the mountain and everything. It looks really good. Your mountain looks super solid. Um, and falling off into the background looks really nice, too. Custom sim and everything. Good work with reflection on the lake in the foreground. Your foreground foreground, I feel like, needs work because I don't know what that is. Is it sand? Is it concrete? Is it rock? I don't know. But I think it's good enough to get the level up. So you made it to the next level. We've seen this one. Oh, man. Another Ghibli render. Y'all in Ghibli, I love it. So this one animated on the twos as well. So it looks like that stop motion anime effect. Um... I love it. Beautiful. Shout outs to How's Moving Castle. If you guys don't know, I'm a big Ghibli fan, and I actually got myself a little a little castle here. A little How's Moving Castle. I got this one at the Ghibli Museum in Japan. And it comes apart. Like it has a bunch of different pieces and like you know, little hidden little cubbies and stuff. Alright, anyway, back to the render. I love it. I love the feeling of this. My only gripe is the foreground grass and it needs some contrast it needs different kinds of grass darker spots brighter spots um and it needs to be flowing in the wind it's very static i need that flowy wind like sotomontes he had the flowing wind um and you have some clouds some animated clouds i feel like your your hdri background you can be moving that a little bit too but this one gets the level up i think it's cool all right tristan Very nice, good render quality, nice character, creepy lighting, reminds me of 1917 a little bit. Um, good work on the fire thing going out here in the back. I think that's really cool. Um, now this one definitely gets the level up. It certainly gets the level up. You have an animated flag going here. What would I do to make this better? I think it's the lighting. I think I would... Now there's a spotlight on this guy. Maybe having a helicopter in the back or or maybe having spotlights up on the buildings, on top of the buildings pointing down on this guy, I think could be really cool. Like 28 weeks later when the zombies came in and they had all the guys on the roof, that could justify the spotlight. I wanna know where the spotlight's coming from. The fire, 
I don't know what's on fire. So if he's walking towards it, maybe it'd be a good idea to have like a crashed plane or something there. Scoot your bus over so I can see what's going on a little bit more. So I'd work on composition and justifying the lighting a little bit more, but you get the level up for sure. Now when we did the, um, when we were in the early stages of the submission progress or process, Martine submitted this image or this render and NVIDIA actually tweeted it, um, tweeting about the contest and everything. Super cool, amazing. Really good work on this. I think this is incredible. Um, you got this monk stepping towards the mountain. Really good idea. I love your idea. The, the ground or the background itself just feels a little static. Um, you know, you just have the birds and the character moving, which is cool. But I'm, it just feels like an image. It might as well be an image. And I can see that your clouds are moving a little bit, but I feel like they're not moving enough. And I'd love to see a bit more of something down here on the ground. Because it's like mostly clouds, which is cool. It's definitely the vibe you're going for. Um, but I mean, this definitely gets the level up for me. I think it's really nice. Um, your crows. I wonder, I feel like if your crows a part of the lighting. It's hard to tell. Or maybe it's just the way they're animated, like they're circling around this guy. And like, that doesn't feel natural. Like a bird can't fly in that perfect of a circle. It, I think it needs to be like, like hovering or something. But anyway, you get the level up. That's really nice. I mean, this is awesome. Big fan of uh, Legend of Zelda. Love the idea. Good times. I love the style. Like, I'm a sucker for this kind of style. I think this is really cool. Very unique. I love your clouds. Yeah, really nice cloud over here. Got a little spiral going on here. What would I do to make this better? Um, shrink the shield, probably, so I can see Link more. I want to see his arms. That'd be my thing. But good work. You see what I mean by contrast and variation in the, the ground? You did that with your plants and everything. I think that's really nice. And maybe there's a way to to break up this line from grass to mountain. You can probably break that up in a different way. So, you know, the mountain would have some grass going up to the rock. It wouldn't just be a rock, you know? But you get to level up. I think it's good. Randy. What you got for us, Randy? So a lot of good detail work here on the buildings. It's a lot going on. Um, yeah, the foggy mountain in the background. Spotlight on the police car. So I'm missing your character. I cannot see your character. That's the thing. I want to see that character. Um, you know, put a light on him or something. Something. If you're going for a silhouette, then shine a light on this truck in the background so I can see the silhouette of your character's head. You know, um, but I like this empty city. I think it feels really creepy. I think your your street though. I think it needs a bit higher res texture going on here. It needs some some lines. Um, and just a bit more detail, probably. Just I think it just it needs a bit more detail, like in these lights up here. I've never seen these kind of lights. So then that's when I'd go for reference. Where have you seen street lights like this? Um, if you have, then that's great. I just think they're, they're lacking in their texture. They need some surface imperfections. Same for the street lamp, there's just a little low res. But the main thing for me is the character. You get the level up though, because it, it has, you, you, got, you got something going on there. I think you have something going on. So you get the level up, you go up to the next level. Gabriel. Now you can only submit once, you can only win once. Or I'm sorry, you can submit multiple times, but you can only win for one. This is another one. You also did this one here. But this looks to me like a walking turd man. But uh, I see, I think this is um, Among Us. I think it's Among Us. Yeah, this is a creepy, this is creepy. The, the, 
the environment. Oh, is that someone getting blown out up here? It is. The environment feels very foreign. It's too foreign to me. Definitely a crashed ship going on here. Crashed ship vibes. I get it. But it feels a little empty, you know. I liked your original, your your link render a little bit better. But good work. You got sparks going here, some tubes animating all around. But your character, I don't know what this character is. I, I, re I didn't know at first that it was Among Us. So I need a bit more definition and clarity on what is going on here. So this one has a little bit more, I'd say this is more like 70% foreign, 60% foreign. What's familiar to me is the character, um, this generator, the buildings, it's all war torn and destroyed. But I think it's the lighting that's getting me the most on this one. It's a little all over the place. I'm getting a lot of different kind of light shades and casts. I'd stick with, I'd, I'd keep it a little bit more simple. Um, might be your sky. I think you might need a different HDRI because it looks like just one color right now. Um, and your shader on the mountain, you know, I need a little bit more. It looks like just a dirt pile. It looks like a small dirt pile. But I like what you're going for here. I feel like you just needed to keep working on it. Keep uh, embellishing this this art. I don't know if this is blood running down the middle or what. Um, it needs atmosphere up here. You need a bit of atmosphere. I think you could just tweak your lighting. Your composition's not bad. It's certainly symmetrical. You have a large object here, a large object here, center frame. So your composition isn't the worst. Um, I think it just needs help with the lighting and your color choice. But good work. Good work. I hope we're all learning stuff. So same deal here. Where are we? I mean, we're on a road. We're on a road with some cars on it that are floating. Why are the cars floating? Is it the character pushing the cars away? Is it like Akira? Are we headed towards a city in the background? I mean, there's no city. You're missing your texture here on the left and right of the ground. We're missing that. And your column here, you need to like bevel, definitely gotta bevel your edges to catch the light there. I think it just needs a bit more detail on your asset. You got some fog going off into the background. I don't know why the mountain has this orange cast on it, but at least it has something it does draw my eye but the the cars are honestly distracting i think they're moving too fast you can probably slow them down and i think you can have your character doing that you can you can insinuate that your character is doing that maybe by having like a force field coming out you can't move their hands obviously because we were locked to a certain animation but i think you could have like force field maybe coming out of the character or something or a shock wave blowing out to show that the characters are doing this and it looks like you're using like a scan line renderer or something. Um, Cause it doesn't look like the cars are being lit by the environment around it, but they're definitely being reflected down here. But yeah, again, what's your reference? Check out Akira, the opening scene of Akira. That might be a good reference for you. Well, we've seen this one. All right, Star Wars. Okay, so you're on a snowy island. Oh my God, that planet is going insane. And those, the, the ships are like, whoa, flying over the top. Okay, this one, um, there's a lot going on. There's, there's too much going on. There's like, these ships are warping in. You got these ships flying by. You got these ships zooming behind the mountain. Like it's too much, it's too much. I like your environment though. It's dark and foggy and snowy and maybe it's ash. I don't know. I'd lean into that. 
you know, maybe worry less about the ships and more on really building out the detail of your environment. This um, explosion back here, it, I think it's a little distracting. It's the brightest part of the image, so my my mind only sees that part. I think your overall image is a little too dark. I don't know why this planet is spinning like crazy. Um, cool asset you he here you have on the left. I almost want to see more of that. I think you can push it back more. And I want to just I want you to consider your horizon and the silhouette that makes up your horizon. How does how does your foreground break up in and and fall off into your background? If you were to squint your eyes and if or if you were to just color your foreground silhouette black, could you tell what's going on? I think it's just a little too much going on um, with this one. Um, I think you can brighten up the image overall a little bit more in the center, especially. Um, it's just too dark. But yeah, good work. You know, um, definitely a lot of a lot of good things going on here. I think you do have a lot of good things going on with this one. And we're moving on to this next one. All right, I got an interesting lighting shift. And it loops. Good work, you got the loop. Very cool. Um, so this is some sort of alien planet, I guess, as well. I don't know where we are. Um, it's interesting, certainly interesting. Reference-wise, reference-wise, Killzone 3. Or maybe it's Killzone 4. Look at the concept art for Killzone 3 and Killzone 4. And see if you can't work that in maybe next time into, into your, your reference. Because it looks like you had some sort of reference. Because it's not completely all over the place. It does feel like a lot. There's a lot going on. Um, and I think it's cool how your mountain and your colors line up with the colors of your character. I just feel like it's missing something. Maybe it's just the architecture. You know, it's like just the same architecture going off into the background. And I don't know if it's at a ship in the back or what. Just, I'm just a little confused, that's all, as to what, you know, where we are, what's going on. So, again, try and find reference and match your reference. Definitely match your reference. Also, time. Spend a lot, you gotta spend a lot of time to make this stuff look and feel complete. It's tough. So there's two Tron ones. There's this one and there's this one. I'm gonna go with this one because, actually here, I'll get back to it. So this is an old school Tron one, but I like the new one better. So let me review these two and we'll do the, we'll do the new one. Now this one, okay, there's something about this one. Though it is foreign to me, I don't know where we are or what this is, it feels cool. Your graphical sense and your graphical style is really good. So good work, really good work. I like this. Like it's simple enough that I know, like it feels good to me, it just feels good. Your colors are sick. I love your colors and I love how they're reflected off the ground. Like this definitely feels like a music video it has a hand-drawn feel to it, which I really enjoy. And of all of the abstract, otherworldly ones, this one has got to be my favorite. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this one the, uh, the level up. It's been a minute since we leveled something up. So here's the Tron one that I think is better. So you got the light cycles going by, character walking forward. So it's not bad, you know, good render quality. I'd like to see the focus, you know, the, the depth of field is a little too shallow. I'd like to see it more focused on the mountain. I feel like you could brighten up the center part of your image, brighten up your mountain and maybe have that beam of light coming from this point here. 
to really brighten up like this part of this side of the mountain. Um, I feel like you can maybe push the light cycles back towards the mountain a little bit more too. Give it more of a vignette, darken this, darken the edges, and brighten up the center point. I think that's the only thing that's lacking from this, but I like it. I'll give it the 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 the, uh, the level up. Now we're getting into duplicates, which is good because we are nearing the end, and then we go to the next level, which will be easier because then when we have seen everything, you know, we'll get through it. So this one is this one's close, man. This one's close. You're in the desert. I got you. You're in the desert. It's nighttime. There's skeletons out in the desert. I think what I would like to see with this one is yeah, your castle on the right. I feel like you want to put the castle at the base of the mountain because you have it. It's dangerous out at night, right? It's dangerous. I want to be moving towards a safe place. So I'd put my castle in the middle so the character's walking towards the castle. And and that'll give it more of like a kind of bring it together. I also I like how you do you do have a castle up here, but I want to see like a city down at the bottom. Up at the top is the king, you know? Um I think your render quality, um, maybe these skeletons. I think it's the lighting. Yeah, the lighting. I'm not sure what's causing this yellow lighting here on our character. Maybe it's from up here. I don't know. Maybe there's a campfire that would help help give me the idea that there's some light here. It looks like you're lighting it from the top though. So I'm missing I'm missing the justification on the lighting for this. Also, the background is very low res. You need a, high, a higher res star map. Um, and I think you just need a bit more, a bit more work on your foreground to give it the realistic kind of feel that you would need to really make this come together. I think if you spent another, another week on this, you can make it feel complete, but good work. Good work, everybody. All right, so this one, I don't know where we are. And it feels very noisy to me. But a character walking towards a, a you know a mountain, it's glowing, getting brighter. All right, cool, a little washout. Um, it feels, um, There's a lot of colors. I, mean, I really wish you'd change out the character. I wish the ch character would be switched out. Um, it feels too flat to me. I'm missing depth. And I don't, again, don't really know where we are. Is this like a cyberpunk video game? You know, like cyberpunk kind of vibe? If so, then that's an actual place like it's the sky. I think it's the dark blue sky that gets me. I'm like, where am I? I don't know where I am. It makes me feel like, ooh, it makes me feel scared and weird. Yeah, I mean, there's not technically anything wrong with this render. I think it's just more of a style thing. I'm more into like the realistic style. Um, Whereas this one has like a lot of like 80s retro kind of feel to it. I, again, I could see a lot of these working in a music video, you know? But as a standalone, I'm not sure where we are. That's the only thing, I'm not sure where we are. So again, my piece of advice would be to reference, use reference. What are the reference images you're going for with this kind of image? All right, this is jacked up. You got a dude holding a dude's arm. This is like mannequin hell. No mannequin's land. 
Um, super creepy. Yeah, love the fog. Uh, the factories in the back. The mountain in the back. It's like a little hard to see, a little tough to see. You got some god rays go coming in. Some trees. Now, the only thing... I, oh, I like how you justified the base model. You know? It's a lot of... It's mannequin... No mannequins land all over the place. The only thing that I think is lacking from this is detail in your foreground and your midground. It feels barren. It feels... It feels too barren. Like, does this need to be a swamp? Does it need to be a salt flat? I don't know. I like your dynamic light, though. It's moving around. This one gets the level up. You got the fallen ashes. I like it. Oh, this is the guy that I'm talking about for the... Uh, you remember that art station one? The art render where the guy was on the desk? This is the model I'm talking about. So this is freaking creepy. This this reminds me of some sort of creepy album art as well. Salvador Dali uh, kind of stuff going on. It's very creepy to me. Again, it's like it's like eighty percent foreign, twenty percent familiar, but ninety percent foreign. This one is super creepy, but not bad. You know, um, your background is painted. I like that. The painted background is cool. Your super creepy face for the mountain. Um, hmm. It, yeah, it makes me feel very lost and confused is how I feel looking at this, which is good. You know, it's, it's a feeling that you get when you look at something. So that's, that's all right. It's just a little crazy. Personally, style wise, not my favorite style. Um, but I see what you're going for, most definitely. It'd be nice to see these ants animated. It'd be nice to see that. Maybe the clock's drooping down a little bit more. Everything just feels a little static. You can give it a little bit of animation. If these guys were walking, that'd be awesome. Maybe if this thing was talking, it could be cool. But yeah, I'm just missing, I'm, I'm missing those things. It needs like a little bit more animation. The lighting is creepy to me. Like I think it may, maybe needs a bit more fog or something. Um, some atmosphere, but technically there's nothing wrong with this. I think this could be freaking awesome album art, definitely. So this one actually happened to just be an image. Unfortunately, it didn't come in as a video and I tried pulling it up, but it just didn't work. Same for this one here. It just came in as an image. All right, here we go. So this is definitely a foreign land, but there's something about this one that I actually really like. So, I like your colors, and I really like, I think it's it's your atmosphere. You're using your atmosphere in a really nice way that breaks this up. And I like your neon glowy kind of vibes here. Like, this feels cool to me. I really do like this. Of Again, I think this one tops it. Of all the other worldly renders, uh, this one is the new new. This one, I like this one a lot. This one's good. Your HDRI in the back, your stars are actually high res. That's good. I like your green fog here. I think this is cool. And like the bugs flying around. I feel like you definitely use the reference or some sort of reference with this. Well, maybe a little bit of halo, <clears throat> a little bit of halo or something. So I like this. This gets the level up for me. This one is nice. I like this one a lot. Your render quality is very good. I love your lighting. And the placement of your assets are really nice. And I just, I love the style, the Western style. Yeah, this feels fun to me. You got some dust in the foreground, some papers flying around. And your windmill, I feel, is like a little small. But maybe that's just the way they are. Yeah, your lighting's good. I like the mesas in the back. You got your train going through the mountain. I like this one. This one's good. This one gets the level up. So this one, this one to me, feels a little too simple um, and incomplete. 
I think you, you know, are definitely going for the desert vibe, but I think in order to get this one to look right, I think you really need to nail the photorealistic ground because that's really all you're going for and the mountain. So you have to pull up reference imagery and, and lighting imagery and lighting reference for this, for this stuff to make it look real. Um, maybe the end of Lethal Weapon. I think there's a scene like this. Um, I mean, definitely well, Star Wars, obviously, the opening of Star Wars. I forget which one. But the one with Luke, was it a, a New Hope? I can't remember. The one with Luke, um, you know, staying with Uncle Ben, um, with his uh, servant droids out in the desert. Definitely give that a look and a reference here. But I think it's your character. You know, I think it's the, the character model doesn't feel realistic. It feels like some just diffuse textures. And then your um, your TIE fighter coming in feels it feels like a lot it feels like a lot because I think your whole scene is so simple but yeah I just keep working on your render quality on this one um, again if you're going for realism I think this is nice if you're like going for like a cartoon style I think this is pretty sweet but it just feels like it's lacking a little something. Like maybe you need some village or something or some huts off in the, the background. Maybe you need some lights going on up in the mountain or something. But I think the, the TIE Fighter is just a bit much for me personally. We're almost there, guys. Almost there. This one is incredible. This one's a 10 out of 10 complete render. Absolutely amazing. I love everything that's going on here. The render quality is fantastic. Your lighting is fantastic. Your animation with the with the train going by is fantastic. You got your motion blur on it. Your snow coming down is incredible. The 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 quality on the graffiti is great. You have your blender, you know, shout outs. You got your donut I love it. Amazing. Um, yeah, your, your lighting is so good. And you even have a sim for the feet down here in the snow, which is really good. Um, but it's funny because the sim starts when the character starts. So it must the character must have been standing there for a long time before he started walking. Um, you even have a sim going on the train with the, with the snow. And then out the back, there's this fog. I'm I'm a fan. Now you used real smart motion blur. It looks like post motion blur because look at this motion blur. It's broken up. I know that. I know that look. You can't get away with that. Come on, just render motion blur out of your program. It's it's better. It's way better that way. But it doesn't detract from the overall image. You got some dudes down here. You got some cars driving by. Ten out of ten. This gets the the level up. This reminds me of the storybook stuff in Ghost of Tsushima a little bit. This is interesting, really interesting style. Um, I guess this guy has like a force field or something that kills all these guys. Some clouds in the sky. I don't know why the mountain is moving like that. The shade on the mountain. The clouds definitely moving around, but I don't know why that's moving. This is interesting. I think the style, stylizing this helped you. Stylizing this definitely helped you. Without it, I think it would have been it would have been a hard one. Um, what would I do to make this better? Uh, maybe a ground plane of some sort leading up to the mountain. I feel like the force field is the only thing that doesn't fit. The force field does not fit. You have like a weird displacement kind of th not weird, but. It's a displacement thing you have going on, but everything else is sketched in. This is computer generated. It feels like computer generated, whereas the rest feels like sketched in, you know? But that one's not bad. I'll give it the level up. I think it deserves it. This one, I believe we talked about. I think I got the level up. Talked about these. Ooh. All right. 
this is amazing. Look at the render quality on this. It looks it looks real. It looks legit. Your character design is great. Walking towards some sort of aura in the background. Um, your composition is great. Your fog and your lighting is great. This is very well done. Very, very well done. Your, your ground plane is absolutely incredible. It's perfectly put together, perfectly sculpted, perfectly created. Like You have a lot of different variation in your rocks and the ground here. I think you killed it. Absolutely killed it. And it's simple enough. And it's guiding my eye towards the center. I think it's great. Definitely gets the level up for me. This one, interesting. Very nice. Got some good trees, some good grass. You got the wind going through the grass. Space City. Got roller coasters going around this thing. I like this loop. I think this loop is nice. It loops all the way around. I just don't know what it is, and I don't know what this orb is. But do I need to know? I don't know. Interesting character here. Looks like a hazmat suit. You got some lens distortion here. This one's not bad, you know? Um, for a foreign environment, for an alien landscape, I, I like this one. This one gets the level up for me. All right, and the rest, I think, are duplicates. Yep. Okay, so guys, we have made it through every single render. Oh my god, I have to pee so bad. Whew. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take these, all these ones that leveled up, and I'm going to go through, and we're going to level them up again, but we're going to do it a lot faster. And over the next 10 to 15 minutes, I'm just going to start leveling all these different ones up until we get to the final winners. And I'm going to go through and I'm just going to freaking plow through until we get to like maybe the top 10, top 20. And then we're going to call it, all right? We've seen them all. I don't need to get into them too much anymore. I can get into the finals and why I think they've won. But let me just compile all these real quick. And then I'm going to use the restroom, and we're going to come back, and we're going to figure out these winners. All right, we got about 40 of them. I am excited. I'm going to do the lightning round, all right, guys? So bear with me. I shall return. Wait, VFX Wizard, you didn't you didn't see yours. Okay. Um I VFX Wizard, I know you're on Discord. So let me let me see here. Oh, 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 oh. I got you. VFX Wizard, I got you. Um send me your video. Um, and Seb Chen. Oh, we literally just finished while reviewing the unfinished. Heck yeah. Awesome, awesome. Okay. I think, yeah, there was one, there was one more. There's actually two that I'm still waiting for permissions for, but, I, you know, it's, it's tough. VFX Wizard, if you could send it to me, send me your, uh, oh, here's one I missed. I don't want to miss it, guys. Here we go. Send it to me on Discord. Because this is it. This is the final chance here. Let me see. We got one more to review. Here we go. All right. I don't want to miss anybody. Don't want to miss anybody. Sweet, yeah. Good character model. Solid character model. 
Um, it feels a bit noisy to me in the background. Maybe that's heat ripples, I don't know, but the overall thing feels a bit noisy. So maybe just maybe you can throw a couple more samples into it next time. Your foreground, so your foreground elements, I think, are a little low res, but maybe that's all your computer could handle. So I can't judge too harshly, you know? Um, I like this though, I like your lighting. It feels nice to me. It feels peaceful. Um, you have some, some, it looks like spaceships flying by, so that's the only thing that's given me the feeling of, if it's kind of like a sci-fi vibe to it. Um, and you got a railroad, which is a little low res. I think you need to get some more polys in there. Definitely get some more polys, but again, maybe you made it work with the polygons that you had at your disposal, or disposal. But yeah, this is not bad. This is not bad at all. This I'll give this the level up. Congrats. Sorry I missed you. Um, if I did miss you, send me your link in the Discord. VFX Wizard, it says it's sending. Okay. I'm going to use the restroom. I'll be back. Hopefully it's sent by the time I get back. Um, I'll be back in like two minutes. So I'll see you guys in a second. I'm going to take a short break. And we're going to keep leveling up until we get to our final renders, guys. Hopefully we'll do it in the next like 20 minutes or so. So I shall return. I hope you guys are enjoying the montage here. I cannot wait to put all of these together into a really cool video. I think it's gonna be awesome. So it got really bright. I need to turn down my ISO, hold on. Last one, guys. VFX Wizard got yours coming in. Oh, boy. Very nice.
definitely gets the level up. Dude! Mmm! Mmm! God. God dang, dude. That is good. That is good. Shoot. That's a solid render right there, man. Love it. Absolutely love it. This is freaking great. Jeez. 10 out of 10, dude. Five stars. I don't know. I don't have much to say. That's just freaking great, man. Congrats. Shoot. Yeah, get, you got the level up. Absolutely. So let's... Let's do the work that needs to be done. This is hard time. This is hard, guys. I got to... I gotta come out with basically five winners for prizes who are in the US and three winners for international, but I think what I'm gonna do is just pull the ones that I think are the best ones, and that'll be like the international version. And then basically we'll go back and we'll find the ones that are US eligible for the prizes and we'll we'll announce the five winners for that. Oh, you guys wanna see my render? Okay. Here's mine. This is the one I put together. And I talked about what went into this render at the beginning of this stream. Um, I still have some things that I want to do to tweak it and whatnot. I want to add a bit more a bit more smoke up here and maybe cut the uh, the darkness on this side. These birds are the frame rate on these birds are a little off. I'm gonna tweak that, but I'm super happy with the overall render. Freaking love it. I think it works great. And the, the whole scene was running smoothly for me and everything too. So like, I'm really happy with the performance that I got, everything. I photo scanned myself. Photo scanned uh, my my fiance's little penguin and I put that in there too. So it's got that personal mo personal element to it, you know? Um, so I'm really, really happy with how that one turned out. So. Let's go through these and let's start leveling some some of these guys up a little bit more, all right? So, no hard feelings if you guys don't get to level up. Everyone's everyone's a winner here, you know what I mean? Y'all put in the hard work and you learned something, all right? So, let's go through and just start leveling them up. This one definitely level up. I can just tell you right now that gets a level up. This one I feel like these get level ups, but let me just see. Let me just see. Might have to go through this a couple a couple times. I think this one definitely, this one definitely gets a level. Oh my God! Are you kidding me? Level up. Absolutely. Is it even a question? Level up. Both of these guys. Boom. Let's, come on. Get up. Get up. Get up on that timeline. Uh, Burke, hey, thanks for the super chat. Um, he says, thanks for time for doing this. You've made learning fun, and I owe a lot of parts to you in the last Discord. Absolutely, man. Yeah, it's got to be fun. we got to keep learning fun, man. Because we don't get better in, until we learn, you know? And we got to keep learning. So we're going through. This uh, will level up. This will level up for sure. We are choosing the winners. And it's a tough process. Oof, that one, ooh, it's good. This one, level up, yeah, level up. I like that one a lot, I gotta level it. Goes up to the next level. This one, are you kidding me? Next level. That one's really good, that one's really good. And I hear you, you got your, your full render complete on this one. So that's awesome. I'm glad you did it. I'm glad you did it. Um, all right, this one, this one. Uh, ah. 
I'll let this one level up. Absolutely this one level up. God, that one's so good. It's so good. Soto, I'm sorry. I see you, though. I see you. Oh, my God. Level up. Definitely. Definitely level up. I love that one. Dude, this one's so sick. Level. This one's really good. I gotta level that one too. I freaking love this one. Level that one up. This one's really well done. Level that one up too. Ah, that one's really that one's really good. That one's really good. I love this one, man. I freaking love this one. I'm gonna love this one. Level up. Level up. Uh, ah, man, that's that's tough. That's tough. That's so tough. Gah, this is difficult. This is really, really difficult, guys. I think this one gets the level. I like this one a lot. This one gets the level too. This one is not even a question. Gets the level up. Dude, yep, this one, absolutely level up. And this one, it gets the level up. All right, so we did about half. We got about half of those leveled up. Now it's time to take these and figure out which one of these goes to the next level. This is difficult. This is a difficult process. All right. So which ones go to the next level? Oh, boy. This one, this one has to. This one has to go to the next level. This one has to go to the next level. All right, yeah, next level. Next level, this one is, the lighting is incredible. This one has to be the next level. I think this one's the next level. I really dig this one. I think this one is is next level. God, this one's good too. Next level for samurai. All right, next level for this one. Next level. This one definitely is the next level. Um, all right, VFX Wizard. Where are you from? Are you from the US?
All right. So it comes down to these guys right here. God, that is so good. All right, this is this is it. This is like top ten, top eleven, top eleven renders right here. So what I'm gonna do here is basically, I'm gonna truly choose the top three. But that does not mean that you win the prizes. So I need, because the prizes are for US only, and I need to make sure that these guys are US only. Now, I've done this process before. I chose the winners last night. So I need to make sure, and I, and I made sure that these renders were from the US. So here's what I'm gonna do. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put this screen over here. So you can't, so I don't give away the winners yet, but I have the winners chosen. So I just want to make sure that I get this right. Because I don't want to have to go back on all this with the US and the, and the, the international, it makes it tricky. So bear with me here. And then I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll just, I'm going to play you guys a quick montage of, of some of the renders here while I, while I settle this and figure this out because we're doing this once. I don't want to go back on anything here. Tough decision, tough, tough decision. Bear with me. All right, guys. I think I've got it. It's time to announce the winners of the Parallel Dimensions Render Contest. Oh, boy, that was tough. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm still... 
I'm still like, oh my god, which one? Which freaking one? Yeah. All right, we're gonna work backwards here. We're gonna work backwards, everybody. Is everyone? Ah, <sighs> everyone ready? Give me some thumbs ups. And it's it's time to announce these winners. Jeez. All right. I'm nervous. I'm nervous, man. Huh. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, okay. How do I do this without? Hmm. All right, I'm gonna write it down because I want to reveal it properly here. guys so <laughs> I keep starting okay okay let me just write this down let me, I'm gonna write this down and I'm gonna say it bear with me bear with me International. Okay. Let's do this. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is it, guys. So it comes down to these 11 renders. Um, I'm going to choose five winners for U.S. only because only people in the U.S. can win the prizes from PNY and NVIDIA. And then what I'm going to do is choose the top three um, winners that I think uh, deserve something from uh, international. So you international guys... I definitely have to give shout outs to you guys. So I'm just going to be sending you guys um, some photo prints, some signed, you know, big prints from me. You guys can choose whichever one you want. Okay. All right. So let me get the prize pool going on here. Make sure I get these prizes right. And we're going to do a thing.
All right, so let's start with the U.S. in fifth place. In fifth place for the Parallel Dimensions contest, you're going to be winning a... This is an honorable mention. Fourth and fifth place, honorable mention. Uh, a 256 gigabyte Elite X USB 3.1 flash drive. You know, don't lose it because it's about the size of my thumbnail. Um, but it's 256 gigs. It's got you on your VFX assets, your 3D assets, pop it into any computer you want. And, you know, it's there. So in fifth place, we have... Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Ah, oh, it's down here. It's down here. Where are you, my friend? Where are you, my U.S. domestic prize eligible friend? So many of you that were from out of uh, the United States. Where's your render? I'm gonna find you. Dun, dun, dun. Bear with me. Bear with me. Where the heck did you go, bud? There you are. Here it is, the winner. Boom, fifth place. <laughs> August. You freaking won it, dude. Fifth place. Congratulations. I love this render, man. I love it how it has two sides to it. And I love the world that it's in. I think it's great. Your character's wounded. He's bleeding. But you made it. You got fifth place. That flash drive is coming at you. All right, so the team members over at PNY, they're going to be in touch. Congratulations on winning. You're the first winner right, of the Parallel Dimensions contest. Great work. Great work, man. I freaking love it. Super sick. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fourth place. All right, we got fourth place. It's another honorable mention. Someone who I think did a really good job. Someone who happened to play with scale in a really interesting way. Someone who got the, uh, the subsurface scattering correct on a certain little insect. Fourth place honorable mention goes out to... Where are you? 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 There you are. Danny. Danny boy. Congratulations, dude. I'm sending a flash drive to you. 256 gigs, 3.1. Dude, good times. Congratulations, Danny, for winning this one, man. Honorable mention. I think th this is absolutely incredible. You did an amazing job. Um, you got the scale perfect um, and you did it in a very interesting and fun way you took this idea into a really unique area that I thought was amazing so congratulations to you my friend you're getting an awesome flash drive all right all right all right now to third place third place goes to See if we can find him. Bam! This is our third place winner right here. Now, if I could find you in Media Pool and then maybe find you in Browser, I would know your name is Cole Stanley and you just got third place in the Parallel Dimensions contest, you have just won, if these numbers mean anything to you, a CS2130 M.2 NVMe 1 terabyte SSD. Boy, you're gonna be rendering things much faster. You're gonna be pulling up files much faster. Congratulations, we're sending in an SSD your way. The PNY team will be in touch. Congratulations on your render, I love it. Look at this, 
Your render quality is fantastic. And not only did you render an awesome environment, you rendered two awesome environments and pieced them together in a really cool way. Like two or three other people did this? Maybe two people did this maybe? And you executed very well on it. So congratulations to you, my friend, to Cole for winning the Parallel Dimensions contest. Third place. Heck yeah. All right, guys. Next up, we got second place. That comes after third place. So in second place, this person will be winning an NVIDIA Shield TV Pro. It's basically a sweet thing that you hook up to your TV and you can like up res all of your um, all of your stuff and you know hook up your PlayStation, hook up everything to it. Um, it's a central hub made by NVIDIA for your TV, for your entertainment center. Second place. Now, I'm glad this person got me their render in time. And boy, they cut it down to the freaking wire. Um, I guess I may have just missed their download. And um, it happens to be Mr. VFX Wizard with this incredible render. Look at this thing, dude. I'm so glad you got this in front of my eyeballs. Because uh, you almost got first place, man. Straight up almost got first place. That's what it was taking me a while. I was Because I saw this and I was like, oh crap. <laughs> this is really good. I didn't want to skip this, man. I'd feel so bad if like you delivered and then I forgot. Or I didn't forget. I just, I didn't get the download. There were so many downloads. I'm, I, I must have, you know, forgot one. Congratulations, Mr. VFX Wizard. Um, second place, man. Holy crap. This is absolutely incredible. The work that went into this is mind-blowing. You got... Ugh, so good. So good. Look at the render quality on this, man. It's unbelievable. <sighs> you, you earned it, man. Congratulations. I'm glad that I got to see this, dude. Congrats. Oh, man. Absolutely wonderful. Now, guys, that takes us down to the first place first place in the US, right? These are prize eligible contestants. I'm splitting it up into two because I know there's a lot of amazing renders that still I think deserve something. So I'm gonna break the, that up into uh, the top three as well. This is US only eligible. And that goes to not, to none other than Mr. Space Man. Congratulations on first place. Mr. Christopher. I'm blown away. I am blown away by the photo real render quality that you have here. And dude, not only that, but your composition, your lighting, the story you're telling. Literally everything that goes into this is first place freaking quality, dude. I love this render so much. You absolutely deserve first place. What more can I say, man? The quality on this is, is next level. It's top tier. You won it. Congratulations. You're getting the Quadro RTX 4000 from NVIDIA. All right, we're going to be in touch with you guys who won prizes. We are going to be in touch, and we're going to get you guys' prizes sent out, all right? So congratulations to the U.S. prize winners. Now, I could end it here and say, I'll see you guys later, but I, I felt very bad that it was a U.S. prize pool only. I didn't want to forget my international folks. There's a lot of them, you know? There's a whole lot of you guys, so... I want to send you photo prints from me. Um, they're a professionally printed archival print. And let me just show you real quick. You guys know I have a print shop. And what I'm saying here is that you guys can pull any image you see on this website, not just the ones in the store, but the ones 
on the main home page or in the collections. They're all the same. Go through, find an image you love, and I will print it out super nice on any size you want on the website. I have a big size and a smaller size, and I'll send it to you. I'll sign it, give you some music recommendations, um, just to show that I, you know, I care about you guys and the hard work you're putting in. I want to make it worth your while. So any picture that you love, I got you. Okay, I'll ship it out to you. I don't care if you're from Timbuktu, which is actually a place. I will send it to you. I don't care. Free shipping, free everything. I'll make sure you guys get it. All right. So the three, the three international winners that I think truly deserve this, starting with third place. We have dun 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 this one right here this one right here dude this one's so good look at this look at this absolutely incredible you built out a world that I want to live in, that I want to be in. I want to be in this little house right off to the right, right in here. Maybe maybe this one right here so I can see the mountain. And I just want to chill here. Dude, your fog, your atmosphere, your character, your rendering, your lighting, your composition, the world, the story, the details, everything you put into this is so good. Oh, so, 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 so good. So congratulations. I'm going to be sending you um, an art print. I know you're on... I think I think this is Seb Chen. I'm pretty sure this is Seb Chen's or Seb Chen. I'm pretty sure. So just hit me up on Discord. Let me know the print you want. I'll send it out your way, man. Congratulations. You totally deserve it. Absolutely incredible. Second place. All right. I mean, I guess it's a second place. You know, I'm just I'm just handing out some uh, some prints. For second place, we have. Our boy right here this one is so freaking cool I love this so much it's unique it has um, a bunch of different colors and style to it I love the animating on the twos with the smoke this is a show that I want to watch I want to see this I want to know what's going on with this giant freaking electrical thing up here I want to know where this character's going I want to know where this character's been through this render is such a breath breath of fresh air with all the realistic renders that people have been putting in. It's my favorite style, but this style here, man, has probably got to be my second favorite style. Um, the detail work you put in, it's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. So congratulations to you. I'll be sending you a print. So hit me up on Discord. Please, please, please hit me up on Discord because this is absolutely incredible. I think you deserve it. And uh, I hope it made your day. I hope it made I hope it made your guys' day. And lastly, this is uh, my personal personal favorite render out of all of these, and is the final, the last winner of the Parallel Dimensions contest. It's got to be Mr. Visual with this one right here. This is so good. Let me get into why I think this is the greatest because your lighting is impeccable. I love you have a certain softness to your renders that I don't I don't know what it is, but you have a certain softness to your renders that are incredible. Your character matches the environment. I think it's wonderful, absolutely perfect. You have particles moving through the air, snow particles, so I feel cold just reviewing this and you have this misty ground layer that's coming through right in here right between these like this little village that is so well done it really adds depth to the entire scene the particles add depth to the scene and the flags going from these buildings really really tell the story and give you a feeling of like what it feels like to be in this environment it shows that there's wind you're showing that there's wind with those three things incredible absolutely incredible um yeah your lighting is perfect you're breaking up your character with the shadow highlight shadow highlight in the midground um perfect choice of color here orange i think it's 
absolutely wonderful. It gives us just a nice warmth to it, even though it's cold, a cold scene. And what is with that snake in the background, dude? It's crazy. I love it. It's so creepy. It gives it that extra element. Your render quality is always incredible. You really spent time and built out this environment. So congratulations to you, Mr. Visual. I'll be sending you a print. Just let me know which one you want, man. Seriously. Um, congratulations to all the winners. So what I'm going to do with this, guys, I'm going to take all of these renders. And I, I think I'm going to really include them all. Because I don't think it's fair to just say, oh, the top 20. I want to compile everyone's work into an awesome audiovisual montage. My friend Casey, he's writing music for it right now. It sounds incredible. I can't wait to put it together. It's coming out next week. Next Saturday, before the live stream, probably at 9 a.m., I'm going to put together the whole montage, upload it for you guys, and just give shout-outs to everyone who put hard work in to this whole thing. And I think NVIDIA is going to share it, and PNY is going to share it too. It's going to be a big deal. It's going to be a really big deal. So I'm very, very excited. Super amped to put that together, guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much for putting in all the hard work and and really making this contest special because the contest was only as good as your guys' as renders and it made it really difficult to choose all these winners. Um, I hope everyone's happy at the end of the day. I hope you guys are content with the choices that I've made and I hope you guys have learned something along the way while doing this. I know I learned, I learned how to, how to uh, do weight painting I learned how to do photo scans. Um, I learned how to make concept art. I learned how to do, you know, I learned how to do that fog card technique. I didn't know that one before. Uh, I learned how to make, you know, smoke and after effects look like it was glowing from the inside. I didn't know how to do that before. Like I learned a lot of things during this and I hope you guys did too. And shout outs to, to this top 11 here. Like it was so hard to choose the top three. Like these, these are so good. I'm blown away at how awesome these are. This one, this one especially, man. I wish, ah, this one's so good. God, yeah, I'm just so happy with everything, guys. Thank you so much. Christian, thanks again for the super chat, man. I see you. I hope I didn't miss any. I'm scrolling up. I think we're good. Um... Oh, man, that was incredible. Absolutely incredible. So, we got our winners chosen. I want to say that uh, on next week's stream, there's another big announce announcement I have for you guys. One more, one more big announcement that I can't talk about yet. But next week on Saturday, same place, same time, I got a big announcement for you guys, so definitely don't miss it. All right, and it involves all of you. So, definitely uh, join me next week. Um, and that's when I'm going to be putting up the audio visual montage, set the cool music. I'll make sure everyone's names are in there. It's going to be a good time. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Any other questions that you guys have? I'm here. I'm reading stuff. Yeah, you guys learned a whole bunch. You learned how to rely on mega scans. Absolutely. Yeah, I'll make sure all credit all the all the credit goes to everyone who made this stuff so when i put out the final video all the credit will be there no sense in uh no sense in, in not including that stuff all right topher's gonna post some bts on his instagram if anyone's interested heck yeah the winner is that the winner chris is it christopher i don't know christopher schultz i think you're the number one aren't you I am so glad that you guys enjoyed these. Oh man, what's next week's challenge theme? Oh my god, guys. I hadn't thought about next week's challenge. Oh, that's the one thing. Okay, what do you guys want to do? What do you guys want to do? Um, that's hilarious. Yeah, what's I I forgot, I totally forgot about it. Can I play the whole thing once for you guys? Yeah, let's do that. Let's play the whole thing once for you guys.
let me just grab all of these. There might be some duplicates, but that's all right. Um, I'm going to lay it all out for you guys, and we'll, we'll go out to this. It's about six minutes long. I'll piece it together, and we, I can answer some questions for you guys. while we watch it together. And you can see how they all cut together. It's really cool to watch them all watch them all move together. And lastly, we got these two guys. Let's go on a journey together. Seriously though, thank you guys so much for making this special. I really had a good time doing this and I was so excited to see everyone put all the hard work into all these things, man. It was so cool. Yeah, the Egyptian one, man. I was a huge fan of the Egyptian one. Really loved it and the train one was so good. Ah, so good. Professor, what's the best way to learn lighting? I think the best way to learn lighting is, is if you like an image, save it on, save it, all right? Put it aside and ask yourself how they lit it. Where's the light coming from? And how can I do that in my renders? If you're outside one day and you say, oh, the lighting's really nice, take a picture of it and ask yourself, why is the lighting nice? Where's the sun coming from? Um, you really just need to ask questions. Take pictures, store reference imagery, and ask yourself, where is the lighting coming from? Why does it look good? And then mess around, you have to do it. So hop into your 3D program and start making things look nice. Start messing with lights and experiment. I think that's really the best way to do it. Um, or click the Skillshare link in the description below. Get you know a free trial of Skillshare Premium. And uh, and look up lighting. They have lighting courses and stuff on Skillshare. So definitely give it a shot. Yay, big fans from India. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. One day I will visit. I promise I'll visit one day. Uh, ooh, okay. Theme for this week's challenge, realistic lighting. I could be down for that. Realistic lighting, like a, like a still life kind of thing. Yeah, William, one rule, don't light from the front unless you're American Apparel and you like that kind of style. It has its place. Um, a flashlight from the front can really be a cool look. Um, I know Beeple does it sometimes like with his like Pikachu in the cave. It's all front lit just from a flashlight and it looks awesome. So it has its place, but I agree. Front lighting makes it all flat and whatnot. Um, Eric, yo, thanks again for the super chat, man. Um, defense up. Heck yeah, an extra bucha. Outstanding display of fairness and character. Sweet, thoroughly enjoy seeing the contest. Thank you, sir. I really appreciate you. Yeah, Brandon, dude, your Egypt scene was sick, man. It was like, I'm so glad, or not glad. I'm really sad that, like, it was such a difficult choice. Um, but the Egypt scene was beautiful. I loved it, man. Great, great work. Seriously. Um, visual, heck yeah, dude. Thanks for the super chat, brother. Thank you so much for doing this, Clint. Not just the challenge, but these weekly challenges have truly created a community I'm proud to be a part of. Heck yeah, man. Me too. <laughs> I'm really glad that you guys are a part of this thing. Visual, your renders are always top notch, man. Like, absolutely incredible. Um, hands down, like, you're very, very talented, and I'm glad that it's a place for you to keep making cool stuff. So, dude, your render is killer. Absolutely killer. 
Christian, yeah, tell a story with the lighting. Absolutely. William, you say, hey, Clint, I'm 13 and started with Blender two years ago. I really got inspired watching you guys make the slingshot video. Just wanted to thank you. Thanks for the shouts, William. Appreciate you, man. VFX Wizard, I'm glad you got it in, too. You literally got second place. Like, you almost got first place. It literally almost happened. <laughs> it, it was that close, dude. Oh, my God. Griffin, who won? Um, Mr. Christopher won. Let me let me show you guys here. So who won? So for anyone just joining us, this one is our first place. This is first place international. These ones are just freaking good renders. This one third place international. Second place international. Um, fourth place runner up US. This is just a good render. I believe this got third place in the US. This one is an amazing render that I'm very sad did not place because it was very hard to, the choice to make. This is our second place US and then our fifth place is this one right here by August. Really, really cool render here. Um, so yeah, those are the winners. And now it's about time for me to head out, guys, because I got to go to Corridor to do this charity stream. So go to Node, um, youtube.com slash Node, uh, or Node Gaming. You just Google it. And I'm going to go play some video games with Natalie right now for the next two hours. All right. So check me out. <laughs> at three o'clock in the next 20 25 minutes i'll be rolling up a little late because i gotta eat and then go but um yeah i'll see you guys on the next stream we have to decide the challenge what's the challenge for today oh what up sign oh, what up sign it's cliff sign what up sign cliff help me take the uh take this photo scan he was the one who took all the pictures for this so thank you so much cliff thank you um, next week's competition. All right, let's decide it really quick. What's the next, what's next week's competition? What are we going to render? What's the challenge for this week? Do you guys want it to be realistic lighting? Cliff, you should join this one too. Cause I know you just started getting up in Blender. Realistic lighting. Um, ooh, a character portrait. Character portrait, that's not bad. What do you guys think about character portrait? You can even photo scan yourself if you want and just light it. Um, in a really, really interesting way. So focus on lighting. Um, uh, Calypse, if I'm saying that right, if we do character portrait, you can light it however the heck you want. I think you just have fun with the lighting. Yo, Cliff, you got some fans, son? All right, realistic lighting over character portrait. Um, all right, um, a movie still recreation or um, a realistic lighting challenge between those two. Recreate a movie still or realistic lighting challenge.
what do we got? All right. Real sliding, move still. Man, it's close, but I think movie still is gonna win. Yeah, let's do the movie still. All right, so this that's the challenge for this week. Create a um, any scene or any still from a movie in 3D. That's the challenge. It could be anything, literally anything, whatever you guys want. So I I gotta run. All right, I'm gonna have to update the Discord um, later. Actually, Soda Monte, if you have a second. Could you update the challenge for this week? Um, recreate a movie still, because I gotta run. I gotta go to I gotta go to Node and do this live stream here. But if it's not up by then, I'll update it. Uh, you know, later tonight or something. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in and sticking around and and joining that amazing contest. I'm so blown away by all the amazing art that came from that, guys. Um, so I'll see you guys next week. I got a big announcement for you next week. So don't miss out. Um, and I'm putting out this whole montage of all these renders with some awesome music. I'll be giving out all the credit to you guys. NVIDIA is going to share it. PNY is going to share it. It's going to be very special. So don't miss me next Saturday, same place, same time. And uh, I'll see you guys on Node. I'm going to go play some video games. So I'll catch you guys later. Peace.